welcome back to the stream. Well, we're here again. Welcome back. You know, a little shorter this time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm least excited about? What? That I had to go back to work. I enjoyed the five-day weekend I had, but now I had to go back to the grown-up world. But this is our sanctuary here. So, um, so I see that Kefka is here Hello, and uh, uh, watching on YouTube. Very punctual. I really appreciate that. So does, so does Zidin over here. Zidin. Um, so, uh, give us a rundown. What did we do last stream, and where are we right now? Last stream, we uh, basically went through the beginning of disc two. Or one of our mics sounds far away. Is it me? Or is it me? Is it Zidane? Or is or is it Marshall? Uh huh. It might be me because mine's like just like over yawn. Yeah. And now I can probably have it right here, and that'll be fine. My Twitch chat. There we go. Hey. All right, make sure we're not sitting on any. Blonde cards. hair. It is mine. Blonde hair. It's yours. So now. Now this should be a lot better. Now, what we did last time is we went through, even though on the PS4 edition and the Steam editions, where it says where this is ported from, um, we went through basically the start of Disc 2 to the end of Disc 2, and we are now currently on the very beginning and start of Disc 3 out of four discs. However, Disc 3 is also the longest disc as it and it also has the most side content. Yep. Disc two is much more linear. Yeah. Basically, the last one because we had to rush a little bit more to get out on time, so that he could go to work. Um. At the end of disc two, Queen Braun and Kuja were basically at war, and Kuja won because he seized control of uh, summoning Bahamut. And Bahamut attacked them, and then Queen Braun died. And now we're back in Alexandria that started this three. Uh, Dagger, aka Princess Garnet, till Alexandros, Queen Bronze's adopted daughter, had visited her grave. So this is a few few days to a few weeks later, from the uh, to be assumed from the end of disc two to the beginning of disc three, and now Zidane's. A little under the ropes because Dagger's kind of not talking to him, mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're basically gonna see everybody's little parts in this wondrous play we have going on called Final Fantasy IX, and basically Dagger's about to become the queen instead of a princess because she was the direct heir, and now everything's being now, because we are on a bit of a time stretch here, we're kind of just not doing the voice acting right now. We we will be doing that eventually again. It's just if I there's I, if there's like a key part, if there's a key part, yes. Like if there's a key part, an important part, or a fun part, or if Zorn and Thorn come back, <laughs> then we will bring the voice acting back. Wow, gave you your cake, your ice cream, and your presents all at once. Hey, I like it when it's my birthday. Kefka says, everyone gonna die. No. I mean, well, spoilers, dude. One one person died. One person so that's, did die. So that's one to the list. And have a good day. Brittany Jade over on YouTube says, hey, hello, Brittany. Hello. Thank you I, for watching. I'm looking at the wrong screen. Hello, Brittany. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was doing the same thing last night before I ended the stream. I was <laughs> like, I was like, we're Wait, gonna, I was like, we're gonna be back tomorrow, and we're gonna keep going about this. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we are How we doing here to line? have a good time. Okay. Look at that little girl with a horn on her head. She's in love with Zidane, by the way, because he rescued her. Well, now's your chance. Now's your chance, my girl. Dagger's not seeing him no more. Yeah. 
That's that's the whole reason that she's doing it. Hmm. Because she knew Dagger hasn't made a move on him yet, so now is my chance. Correct. It's like, ah, oh, poor little girl. Yeah. I only have my heart for one girl. Hmm. He looks pretty smart. Four people on YouTube. Hmm. One well, welcome on everybody to who is watching, and we hope you enjoy our plentiful banter. Kefka says, <laughs> Kefka says, those jesters better be dead. <laughs> They're not dead yet. <laughs> they are. They are very fun to. Uh, very fun to voice act. Yeah. That, I, I didn't think it would be that fun, and I thought that we would have like messed each other up by speaking yeah. at the same time. But no, it's. it's but no, it's it was. Fun. It was pretty fun. We did it pr fairly well, I think. Yeah, we did. We did pretty well, and. Uh, especially that scene where they were actually extracting the Eidolons from Dagger. Mm -hmm. there, there was, was no, no pressing X for their dialogue. It was just going oh, was, oh, I thought you were pressing X no, the whole time. That, that just happens. We kept, in, we kept in sync with that pretty well. Yeah, there, there are a few scenes I, in this game. I will say, and I'm, I'm, no I'm pretty sure that you caught up, that you that you caught on it, that my inspiration for my Thorn voice was was from Kefka. Yes, as was mine, because <laughs> they are, they're literally mini Kefkas, because they're nothing but chaos. Mm-hmm. But and they're also little assholes. But I mean, in Zadon's words, they are bastards. And then Zor uh, Thorn had the um, one of my favorite lines in, in anything I've ever heard. He said, "Bastards we may be, but clever we are." I'm like whoa! He said, "Bastards we may be, uh, Papa Kefka gonna bury them." That's right. <laughs> what well, he he. he he made that line rhyme, didn't he? He's like, bastards we may be, but but, I don't, I don't remember if but clever are we. Yeah, yeah clever, clever are we, I think. Because I know that line rhymed when you said it, and that's, that's why I thought it was good. I was like, hey. A human with a horn. I wonder what that means. Hmm. And now my purple stuff is gone. For those of you who have not watched before, uh, I am dressed up as the main character of this game, Zidon Tribal. And usually I try to also act as him with his voice every time he speaks. However, there have been a few instances where either it gets skipped or I just forget about it. Hmm. But for the most part, because we're on a bit of a rush schedule right now, we're going to try to have as much fun as we can. Um, we're, we're not going to voice out and act out every single person. Like, we had a script and everything for every specific person who was going to voice who. But right now, we're not going to do that. And, you know, the cool thing about technology these days is we know you guys can read. So if we're going a little too fast, you can just, hey, you want to learn in the story? We're not trying to be lazy. We're just trying to get through. Uh, but we're still also having fun with this. Brittany Jade over on YouTube says, please explain what's going on. I'm so lost. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, what uh, have you ever have you played this game before? Have you played Final Fantasy I'm 9 going, before? I'm going to guess she has not played this before. Uh, uh, like I'm trying to like like I'm asking that to see like if you have played this game and you don't know where we're at or have you not played this game but you want to know what's going on. Bye bye, bye bye now, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye now, bye bye. Please briefly, yeah. Okay, so let's. I guess let's start from the beginning. I guess a two-minute summary of what we've done so far, like all of it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Basically, at the start of the game, you are playing a in a, a man, one of the main characters. Adon is in a band of themes called Tantalus, who are also acting as a theater troupe, about to play a about to play a uh, what's the word play theater they're play. They are going to stage a play yes. for the royal for the, family yes. of Alexandria. Yes. However, the Princess Garnett, who is now about to become queen... Oh my goodness. Is, ...who is about to become queen, had been wanting to escape the castle due to various circumstances. 
So she basically ran into Zidane as they were about to kidnap her and says, I want to be kidnapped. Please take me away. And they're like, oh, cool. And a uh, and bunch of shenanigans happened. They went through a bunch of sequences of events. They went to the neighboring kingdom of, of uh, Lindblom and the other kingdom of Burmesia. A war had been ensuing due to the queen's greed uh, for power. And a whole bunch of things. They took him to another continent. Uh, I'm terrible at summary, so I'm sorry. But, hey, the whole thing's archived. And However, right now, after a big fight on the other continent, uh, basically the whole reason that the queen was so greedy with power is because a man named Kuja had shown up a few months ago and started like sowing seeds of chaos all throughout and he is the one who told her oh yeah your daughter has these powers inside of her that you can extract when she's 16 so she did that she almost died in the process from that dagger the, the princess almost died in the process because of that um, they brought they revived her uh, now she just got her jewels back, which contain the summons of this world. Ifrit, Shiva, Bahamut, Alexander, all that stuff, except Alexander's not, you know, but we'll get to that. That's going to be coming up in a little bit. And there's a bunch of other side characters like Steiner and Vivi. And Vivi is just as much the main character as well as Zidane and Garnett. And you can explain how Vivi is because he's your favorite character in all of Final Fantasy. Just as Zidane is my favorite character in all Final Fantasy, so take it away. So I will give it a go. So a thief named Zidane wants to kidnap a princess named Garnet. So he kidnaps the princess named Garnet with the help of a mage named Vivi, and the three team up with one of the princess's most esteemed knights, Steiner, and they team up to stop the evil queen. But it turns out the evil queen uh, isn't the evil isn't the most evil force there is a guy more evil than that and so all the these this band of of uh, Rapscallions now are trying to fight the evil force uh, It's like Aladdin, but with more evil forces lots of evil forces I mean that's kind of I, I, I don't know I try, I, try, I try to make it a little more <laughs> that's that's a little more accurate. simpler <laughs> Vivi did not assist in the capturing of the princess. He was just kind of there. <laughs> he did say he, 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 he helped Zidane. Well, he, you like, know, in, the, in Broaden's terms, he helped him. I guess. And this is where the, the most fun scene in the game happens. Because it is just nothing but... <laughs> uh, Brittany says thank you. And Kefka says... And a silver dragon, yes. Oh, yeah, a there was, silver There was dragon. a silver dragon that uh, the evil, the more eviler and guy was, rides on. Yeah, and it wasn't, he says silver in quotes because it's definitely not silver. No, it's more of a, it's more of a jade dragon. Yeah. You want to, you want to, you want to do this scene? This scene's fun. The scene is fun. That's what I was just talking about. Okay. When the night wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. What is this letter? Did Steiner write me a love letter? <laughs> well, okay, so if you're not following along, Iko went to Dr. Tot because he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a scholarly individual. The guy with the big nose. The guy with the big nose and the glasses and everything. She went to him and... <laughs> she says, I need to write Zidane a love letter. So he wrote the letter and... <laughs> She got knocked over by Baku in the castle. That big fat guy. That big, big, big guy who was being berated by Steiner in the last scene. And she got, she was hanging on the, on the awning, or the, the railing, I should say. And she was holding the letter. She says, please deliver this to Zidane. Baku was about to go, and he got a little furious at Steiner and dropped the letter without thinking about it. And... <laughs> It was dropped there. Steiner went away. Beatrix comes down. She's going through her woes of, of life. That she's the letter, and she's like, "Girl swordsman, Beatrix." Yeah, go, the the yes, Beatrix was the one who was talking earlier. And she has now picked up the love letter that was written by Iko to Zidane, and now Beatrix thinks that the love letter was written by Steiner, 
to her. Yes. Elijah on YouTube says hello. Hello, Elijah. I can't start my day without Dagger. Her smile, her voice. Her voice is like a beautiful song. And her song makes me soar high into the sky. But now... Oh yeah, Dagger is the nickname of Garnett that Zidane gave her, and uh, she dumped him. Kind of. They, they never were together. But I, I'm, I'm being as, I'm being as know, simplistic as I possible. Know, but they, yeah, they were never together, but basically that's it. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Whoa! Farm Curry is on YouTube. He says, hi. Hello, other brother. Let me join Tantalus again. We can steal treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, really? There ain't much treasure lying around in this world, boy. Besides, a Tantalus always gets what he sets his eyes on. That's our number one rule, right? Kefka says, Zidane, get over it. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? You can't ca even capture a canary. You ain't got what it takes to join Tantalus. Farm awesome. Curry asks, did we change our camera angle? Yes, we did. It is now center. Why can't you be more honest like this little guy? <laughs> Can we? Can we? Please? All right. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah! Woo! What do we got for Zidane? He's already mastered. Ooh. ability up. Just so he can learn it. Oh, active time events. Yep, this is Baku forgetting. <laughs> Have to give us down that letter, huh? Huh? <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta go to. What a the jerk! <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Yes, now we are on our way to the castle to get... Ooh, wait, there's a synthesis shop here. We can synthesize. I forget. This is the one time we can actually do this. What can we make? I don't think we can make anything different, but, but we can buy more things. For example, this, this. Equipment for our white mages. Twist headbands. I do need a barber. For who? Uh, I needed one to make something. Do I want to make mail? Expensive stuff, man. That's okay, we got money to spare. My mother says nice wig. Thanks! It's the best! I need a mythical dagger. I need two mythical dagger. It is the greatest. I can make another magician wig? <coughs> Is that Kachuga? Kachuga? <laughs> what? Maybe gold choker. Magician's shoes. Gold choker. Gold choker? I can. Make that. There we go. A lot of, lot of, uh, lot of stuff. I need mithril daggers, yes. Okay. What abilities are we close to mastering with Zidane? We, he's mastered just about everything that we can. He's, he's still working on sacrifice. that. Sacrifice. Which, which is why I haven't equipped this yet. Oh. Uh. He can do gamble defense, so we're gonna do that. Brigandine, he's learning that level up. Power belt, he just has. Uh, EP plus 20.
Oh, he can learn Black Belt. Yeah. We'll have uh, you, Vivi learn Demi. He's almost learned to drain. So he's, Vivi's almost mastered everything. Nice. So he's a powerhouse. Vivi is a powerhouse. As he should he's, be. He is one of the strongest characters in this game. Um, I believe that's it. I don't think there's anything worth getting in here. I could be wrong. Yeah, there's not. I think there's not. <laughs> Those hippos are there's a nightmare. Yeah. They follow you like a sentry bot. Just miles agape. Eh. Alright, I want to find something to talk about. Okay. Uh, As we progress through this part of the story that you really kind of don't need. But, essentially, it's. I didn't even stop by to say hello! Oh. And then the shipping wars intensify. <laughs> Rat. Uh, they just up and start fighting. Huh? <laughs> What's going on here? She bring you in. Tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming bees. <laughs> <laughs> See now when I yeah like when I first played this uh, game I named the character Beans and so when I, now whenever I see Amran I think of Beans and I it, remem it, it reminds me how funny I found it the first tell time. Tell her that I'm the flaming beans. beans. It's hilarious, dude. It, it is. is, and I hate it. It's f so funny. It's because of you. Jeez. Throw the blame around, won't you? I mean, she's right. She is, uh, technically quite right. Yeah, but it was, it was like, it wasn't entirely unjustified. What was it? See, now he's sulking about it. And have all the guards she needs. She won't need me. I think she wants to see you. Nah, she doesn't want to see me. Nobody wants to see me. It's so hard to like try and read into the minds of other people. Cause like. Cause like I often think about that. Like if like if friends of mine go quiet, and like I kind of want to pick up a conversation with them, like I there's a little bit there's a little part of me that thinks, what if they want to talk to me just as bad as I want to talk to them? But it's like so hard to mm -hmm. like actually understand if that if you know that's actually the case. That's what I think. Uh, in my in my opinion, you just gotta be really honest about it. Be like, hey, I want to talk to you. Can we talk? But what if, like, it's inconvenient? Or what if, like, they don't want to talk? If they or don't, what if they can't they, talk? Then they just be honest with you. That's all I can say, man. Like, that's that's the only way I can think about but it. But what if they aren't as honest? What if the, what then, if the, what if they start what if they start the conversation and then just abruptly stop in the middle of it? Like, I, then then I feel bad. It's like, yeah, I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just kept quiet. Like, that's where my insecurities lie. That, then they're not worth talking to. If, if they're not going to be honest with you, that's that's my honest that's my honest opinion. But I still care about those friends. Why? Because if I not care. Honest with you, why? Because I care. I'm a caring person. Yeah. I, I mean, feel I like mean, every. I, too, I feel like everybody deserves a little attention every so often. You're you're, you're not wrong. You you are not wrong. But there's there there. You know, I, I would much rather, like, if I was talking to someone, I would much rather them say, like, up straight, you know what, I kind of don't want to talk to you right now. Or, you know, I kind of don't want to talk to you ever. Like, I would rather have that than me just being, like, in this, in this, like, cl you know, in the dark. 
I mean, I, I, I would I would rather have the blunt truth thrown at me than me constantly guessing. If anyone agrees with me, let me know. I, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure we're both right. I just don't. I, in my in my opinion, I can't see anyone like looking to you and saying I don't want to talk to you. I don't know. It's because they don't. Instead, they just go quiet. Like after, like after I build. Well, a if that's the case, blow up their phone until they give you. No, an answer. absolutely not. You do not do that. You do not. That is not the way to solve the solution. Some people want that. Either. Because then that will get them to like angrily tell me, "Stop talking to me." Once again. I would. Yeah, I would. It goes to show you. I would rather get a, you know, can we do this later, or can we talk about this later, or I don't want to talk to you right now. Is that okay? Then rather than then yelling at me like stop blowing up my effing phone then that's when i'll then that's when i'll feel bad well, yeah, again but then, but then you get over it and just be like okay you know what block i don't need you i don't need that negativity like my, my brain I'm too... works my brain works on a what like a wavelength where, okay well yeah, i'm too to yours where i don't want to bother people but i still will. i'm too gentle for that i can't yeah, I'm do not, that I'm, I'm very assertive and Yes, and be like, be like, hey, if you want, if you're not gonna talk, then I'm just gonna. That saves you from some <laughs> situations and gets you into more, sit and gets you into more troubling situations. Listen, you gotta, you gotta be yourself, man. I am myself, be and yourself. that's the gentle-hearted person that I am. That's myself. You know, other people would say, grow a backbone. Or maybe, I would, I call that, don't be a dick. I mean, you're not wrong. But sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes it's very much necessary. And uh, let us know if if I'm wrong. If <laughs> if someone doesn't, I'm not ever saying you're wrong. I'm just saying let me know if I'm wrong. If someone doesn't answer me on a phone, I don't think that gives me the dick pass. <laughs> what? As wrong as that sounds, if someone doesn't answer me when I message them, I don't think that gives me the pass to be a complete no, jerk. No, no, no. But if it if it's a common occurrence with that one person, yes, it does. Because then you you will find out if they are worth keeping around or not. So yes, wholeheartedly, if it is a common occurrence, it wholeheartedly gives you that right. I'd rather just take. I'd rather just take. You know, take the hint and just be like, all right. I will slink back. You couldn't say anything. I will slink back to the shadows. He had a whole speech ready, but it would have been a lie. How could he lie to her? Good luck, Dagger. I'll be waiting for you for, from afar. I'll, I'll be watching you from afar. Come find me if you need someone to talk to. It's a big fat lie. That's not how I feel at all. Not how I feel at all. See, Zidane, having been the biggest womanizer on the on this planet. Is going through a, 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 a an emotion, a phase in his heart that he has never felt before. Because he's never really been in love, and now he is, and it's saddening. And now Aiko is experiencing her first crush and her first heartbreak. Yes. Why'd you read that stupid letter? That looks so sad. Is there anything I can do for him? Ah! I hate you! <laughs> She's also six years old. Yeah. You know how I feel. You're six years old. Right? You really don't want to see him tonight. You gotta show up before he shows up. And this scene, this scene is amazing. I'm freaking Shoot. Love it. Shoot. Someone's killing Satan. And the music, too. <laughs> yes. There's no one here, bro. There's no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Hmm. Maybe. I wonder who wrote you that love letter. <laughs> well. Just read the letter. I bet she's beautiful. <laughs> really? Are you sure you didn't write it yourself? I mean, you caught the... L oh, wait, yes, you. I mean, you caught the letter falling from the floor above you, right? I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand me the letter herself. And if you don't like... And if you don't think I'm a ladies' man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good-looking guys. Someone's coming. Marcus, don't interrupt me while I'm talking. Let's hide, bro. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I must tighten up security around the castle from now on. Dusk to dawn, rain or shine, I must patrol the castle. Mm, right, clear. Mm, left, mm, clear. Huh? Huh? Hmm, it's a piece of paper. 
Hmm. This looks like a letter. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. M m my goodness! Th this is a love letter! Who wrote it to whom? Hmm. Hmm. No address or addressee. Did someone drop it here knowing that that I should pass? Who could it have been? <laughs> Beatrix! Was it you? What's that? My phone is ringing and I don't know why. Kafka's back for, for a wonderful part. <laughs> dump, dump. Dump, dump. Are, 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 are they in love? Bro. <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> Stay Beatrix. Oh, what's gonna happen? My, my nose is bleeding. <laughs> and stick your thumb up it. <laughs> Boss? Oh, you totally ruined the moment. <laughs> Just walks away. <laughs> I love that scene so much. <laughs> so many things happen. Oh, so many misconceptions, misunderstandings. It's just, it's, it's genuine. <laughs> it's genuine comedy. <laughs> also, Marcus's nose is bleeding. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, quiet. <laughs> My nose is bleeding. <laughs> Excuse me. How'd she... How'd she... Jump. Ah. That's, she can jump, apparently. You see, and if we were controlling her, we wouldn't have been able to get up those stairs. There, right, that yeah. would have been an obstacle. Can you say something? <laughs> well, I guess that was a small topic that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else? Really interested in sightseeing. I want to go there. I'm coming with you. There's a card game tournament going on in Toronto right now. I want to participate. Now, I really actually like uh, the card game in this game. I don't remember if you like it or not, but I want you to play it. I didn't get into it enough to like it. Mm. Like I, n I don't think I ever really learned how to play. I did. Mm -hmm. A lot of people riding in one gargan. Yeah, it's a strong oh, gargan. There it is. Clown. It is ah. No one is here. Is no one here, really? Yes. yes. Sure you are about that? That is enough! Now we do what? We are going to ask Princess Garnet if we can return to the castle. Return to the castle? Can we really? I will not know until... We must hide! It looks like no one's here. Yeah. I guess this is about the only thing we can do for Zidane. Keep up the night watch and preserve Alexandria's peace. Yeah, I think so too. What a peaceful night. It's almost scary. Mm, okay, let's finish our round. Alright. Jeez. That was close! Now what? We cannot stay as long as those meddlers are here. We must leave Alexandria! <laughs> On the voice. Kafka says, Freya is waifu, and the heartaches are back. <laughs> the heartaches are back. <laughs> hey, look, there's your waifu. Don't, Don't worry, Freya's most likely going to be in the main party. 
for for this for this playthrough. Have you been here before? What about you? Me? I've been to every place where there are beautiful women. <laughs> That's cool. Who's your waifu, man? Mine? Yeah. She's actually, actually not in this game. Okay, that's fine. My my, my waifu is uh is, is in Final Fantasy 15. That's, that's uh that's our name. Hey Shayna. Yeah, she's, nah, nah. That's, that's my waifu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry to everybody who uh. It, Kefka says his waifu is Freya. I don't think Freya would go Cheeto for you, Kefka. Back. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think. Cheeto hair is back. Cheeto hair. I don't think. I don't think uh, Freya would go for a, a dictator clown. Some people call me the Flaming Cheetos. <laughs> oh man, that was that, another. If game. I play this again, he's going to be named the Flaming Cheetos. Yes. yes. That's perfect. What card do we have? We have a Ramo card. Okay, okay so, so there's two. Uh, what the type of attack it has? Magic. Uh huh. And, and I believe, believe that's physical, physical defense and magic defense. One and five. Yes. Okay. Two. The X, X is uh, there's physical, magical, both, and I forget what the other one is. You can look up the rules. There's a, there's a ton of them. Don't they tell you the rules? Did they? Actually, it never tells you the rules of what they are in the game. It doesn't say what the numbers are. It says they mean something. You gotta figure it out. That's what the rules say. Well, what is X beat? Does X beat both? Or is X both? I think X is both. So then there's magic, physical, and both? And then there's one more. And I don't remember. Well, what's anyone who knows the rules of these so that we don't have to look it up, please feel free to tell us because it's been a while since I've actually played it. Kepka says, oh god, I forgot this card game existed. Yep. Thick like bricks. What do you mean? <laughs> Big dope. Just down your legs down. Just down your legs Cool. You guys understand each other. No, fight. No, do you understand? No. Not really. I just thought I could be cool and still meet you. It's so hopeless. Hey, what is that? A card stadium? <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> She's gone. Huh? Oh no. Not more of this. I kinda like this music. Yeah. It's like the city is one big... Uh... Old-timey bar, I guess. It's like it's one big gentleman's club. That's what the entire city is. Just a giant gentleman's club. Yeah. Got the guy in the in the corner playing a playing a piano. What? How? How? How dare? Says one Did of my friends is playing Resident Evil 2. Is oh, that yeah. the remake? Yeah. Can't be. It's not out yet. The demo though. I think it's out. I didn't it's know if it's 16. I didn't know if it's at the demo or not. It just said final it's just said Resident Evil 2 slash biohazard. I didn't uh, see demo. Final Final Resident <laughs> Fantasy Evil 5. It's a good uh, game. You ever played it? Demo. Kafka says he forgot the rules. I don't even I didn't even catch the rules the first time. Stop by at home stay in Stay in trauma. Stay with your friends. That's the first I've ever seen of that. Really? Yep. <clears throat> I always, I always have Vivi go by by his house, by his home. Hippo's prize. His home is in the Black Mage Village. No. His house is it, here. No, his home is is in Quan Throne. Oh. Where we went earlier, in, in this one. Mario. 
That's awesome. Mario, you can't. <laughs> All right. I was going to do a Mario and Luigi no. thing. I mean, she's wearing green. Secrets. Mario, go back to your game. Uh, go Kef back to your game. Says Kefka. Uh, oh, we can go get some more. <coughs> do, do, do memories by the water. Ah, yes. It's cheap. Damn it! That bird lady didn't fall for it. Gotta find my next scam. Oh. Damn! Ain't you gonna apologize for that? He didn't do anything. All he did was just hey, phase through. I'm talking to you. Don't you know who I am? No. What? I'm the infinite... Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. <gasps> you're, you're... You're the flaming emerant! I'm sorry! <laughs> Echo doesn't give a care. No, it's just the, not, after seeing that guy run in terror from the flaming amaranth, this little six-year-old child just walks up to him and is all you buddy. Were being a bully, weren't you? all buddy buddy with him. Just, he, all, all he, he did, did was stand, stand there. <laughs> Grandpa always told me bullies are actually cowards. Just leave me alone. <laughs> so he's traveling with a kid. Never knew the flaming amaranth had a soft spot for kids. <laughs> oh no, excuse me! <laughs> so weird. Where are you going? So weird. <laughs> he said, he said, Kefka says that this, this game has so much comedy. Kefka says that Cheeto hair could probably bench that guy. Probably. Little did he know that actually that's actually Gilgamesh. Mm. I mean we don't find that out unless we get hey, it's like dark matter, hey? We're not gonna buy dark matter, that costs like sixty thousand gil. We don't have that money. How come? I never bought that. Angel Bless? Yeah. What's it do? I don't know. <laughs> I never got the nickel dagger. That's what I bought. A missile dagger, but I didn't. Uh, I forgot to do that. Mm, let's go. Hmm. City people. Oi, punches. Wait, can I voice this? <laughs> we gotta go back to the auctioneer so I can talk like him again. <laughs> Hello, little girl. <laughs> Don't be silly. Right. Right. Make sure you're around. Thanks for flying by yourself. Wait! I'm leaving. I'll, I'll take you out to dinner. dinner. <laughs> you say you have delicious food? Yeah, lots of delicious. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, Quinna. You say you have delicious food? Uh, who the heck are you? I want delicious food. Why do I got. Uh, are you part of Emerald's posse? <laughs> Ah! You have delicious food! <laughs> so weird! <laughs> hey! You got some. Nice. I like how Quinn just appears. Yep, you can learn the mug. Holy damage reduced by 100%. By it's way. triggered by food. <sighs> Been so slouchy. Because I'm tired. I know, I, I feel it too. Like leaning back on this couch makes me feel. We can also uh, attempt to fight this thing down here. That's However, a one. it is a katoblapaz. That's a word. The katoblapaz. Remember that from the fifty? That's a big thing. The thing you just done. Go. Gilgamesh is gonna get eaten by Quinna. I need the middle thing. Yeah, that's a close one. That's a close one. Do I have an ice knife? I don't have an ice knife. Do I have a cat's claw? I have poison knife. I do need a multina racket. That's all I needed. Yep. Bye bye. 
Bye bye. What's the worst game you've ever played? Worst game? Yes. Uh... Damn, man, I, I, I don't know. Give it a <laughs> give it a think. <laughs> I think that's a good question. That like I I don't think it's I don't think I've ever really asked that. Like, what's the worst game you've ever played? Because now I gotta think back. So, what's the worst game have I played? That's... Wow. Uh, I, I don't know, man. What do you... Do? Kefka you said, do Parasite play? Eve, third birthday. Is that a game? Is that the worst game you've ever played? Or, or does that mean something else? I know that was a PSP game. Really? Yeah. Was that the one with the girl that looked like lightning? Yeah. And that is also where you can was, get lightning. Yeah, there was something. Uh, if you had odd about save, it. if you had save file with it, you could get in Duodecim. I know I play. I know I played a little bit of it, and it was skins. it was like you were like phasing in and out of people, like taking control of soldiers or something like that. What? Right. Wow. In third birthday, you would like take control of a soldier on the battlefield and and you'd get their weapon and powers and then you would warp back and forth between the soldiers on the battlefield that's all i remember from it and then the, of course the girl looked like lightning from final fantasy 13. i have jelly oh boy what is the worst game i've ever played um Save it, and hopefully I can kill this thing. It was nice. terrible, and had nothing to do with Parasite Eve. So was was there like games prior to that, and was was Third Birthday supposed to be like a sequel or or a, or a game that w that took place in the same story, but it it just did not deliver. Because there were games that I gave up on because I was because I was either tired of it or bored of it. Right. And one that comes to mind is Mafia Three. Mm -hmm. I, I gave, don't think I've ever played. I gave up on that I game pretty quickly. Enjoy, I probably should have equipped a different weapon. I don't know why. I played more games where. Uh, what I got was what I didn't expect and I was more disappointed rather than me just playing a game where I was like, oh my god, this game is so bad. Mm -hmm. There's got to be at least one though. Parasite Eve, Parasite 2, and then Parasite Eve third birthday. Okay. So yeah, after two games, you were expecting a good, a good, another sequel to the second game and it just didn't deliver. If anyone else is still listening, uh, if you want to pitch, if you want to chip in on chat, what is the worst game that you've ever played? Whoa. I think that's an interesting question. I want to say that I've got an answer, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really either. Cause... I've played some pretty bad indie games, but I, I feel like those are just kind of a dime a dozen. Like some of the indie games that we got on Xbox Live. Those were pretty bad. Yeah. Ooh. Like there were a few like first person zombie shooters that were really bad. Uh No Look and No comes to mind. <laughs> that was a pretty you got bad. that? I did. Oh no. 
I wanted to see I wanted to see how far I could get. And uh wasn't worth it. I died. That's because I have the wrong uh weapon equipped. Which is okay. You know it was a fun indie game though? It was Avatar Deathmatch. Yeah. I I thought although, that was a pretty fun game. Towards the end it got really impossible to play. Why? Because the, it was just so bad. <laughs> it, there, was, there was so much lag. We, even, even playing... We had our fun with it. We did. D I, one of my biggest things that I remember about that game was your avatar had a different run, running animation than everyone else. <laughs> like, everyone else ran, like, with their legs more, res like... More reserved, and it looked more. It, it looked like a natural running animation. But your guy, like, did you like did splits as you ran, and it was the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, why do you run so weird? The angelic weapon allows you to steal. Is that is that a weapon in this? The angelic weapon. Yeah, or the like the angel something. I'm I'm using the angel bless right now. Does it does that allow you to steal as you hit? No, it gives you the ability thievery, which is based on Don steal and his speed, his, his oh. steal rate. Oh, which okay. is why I kept telling you last time, steal, steal, steal. The more you steal, the better the Don thievery ability is. It is a max out ability that if you steal enough times. You will do 9,999 damage. Ah. Yes, indeed. Another disappointment game that comes to mind is Dissidia. The Dissidia NT. The new one? Yeah. Like yeah, I, I can't it, like I can't say it's a bad game it, because it's not, no because we just, were finding enjoyment of it but it was not what we were expecting and yeah. we're we're by now we're bored of it yeah and the the final DLC character has yet to be announced and quite frankly I'm starting to lose yeah I'm at the point where I kind of don't care yeah you 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 were you were excited when Yuna came out and then everybody played Yuna and then. Like, okay. Today's items are a rare item rat tail, dog is whatever, Yoon's armor, dark matter, first. No. I was having fun. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. That was a bad game that I played. Uh, yeah. I can't finish. I I can't finish it because I just don't like the gameplay. Oh wait, I have to save it. Play the card game. The division wasn't a bad game, but I got it was like the first game that I got bored of. Like I played it, I enjoyed it, but I got bored of it. And I was just like I got nothing left. I can't play this anymore. Chain of Memories was a terrible idea. Did you ever play that 1862 game? 1860. No. Yeah. I heard that was bad. Yeah, I heard it was bad too. And I remember seeing the trailer for that. I had high hopes for that. The, the, th the thing that I'm glad that, like, I'm happy about with The Division was that it, it was a great time passer while I laid in bed uh, recovering from my wisdom teeth surgery. Like, I had, got, I had got that game, like, about a week ago, like, a week before the surgery, and then while I was recovering, that's all I played. I, uh, the Div Tom Clancy's The Division. Mm. I played that and I ate chicken noodle soup when oh, I wasn't I, laying now, in now I can say Now I can say one game that I absolutely hated. That was Tom Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent. Oh. And my my father can actually back me up with that because of how awful it was. Her, it was... You needed it for the story, but it was... I saw one of your cards that the, all the numbers were zero. That's a terrible card. Yeah. Why would you want it? It's, 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 
Ew. Disgusting. Look at all these monsters we fought. Oh, wait. Look it up. I didn't hear a please. Dude. Money, 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 money. What do you want me to look up? The rules? The, the numbers on Tetra Master. FF9 Tetra. Master. Tetra Master for Scrubs. <laughs> yeah. Tetra Master, is it? Yeah. Um... the numbers. Oh no. Okay. Yada 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 yada, blah blah blah. What do the stats mean? Yes, this is what we want. Uh, the first value is the card's attack power. The second value is the battle class. Of the card, more on this in a bit. Uh, third is physical defense, and fourth is magical defense, as oh. you previously discussed. That's what it was. Zero through nine, A through F. Yep. There's uh, what are the letters? Uh, battle class. Here we go. There's P, M, X, and A. P stands for physical. Uh, the combats, the card's power against the defender's physical defense. M stands for magical. This combats the card's power against the defender's magical defense. Mm -hmm. X is flexible. The pairs, this pairs the attacking card's power against the weakest of the defending card's defenses. And uh, A is assault. This is the best class. The, this is the best battle class as it pairs the highest stat on the attacking card with the lowest class on the defending card. Okay. I'm gonna have to read that again because uh, that, that, went, that went in one one ear and out the other for me. Well, well I understood it though. I did not. Okay, so when you have an A, it pairs the highest stat on attacking. Okay, so if you have an A, it's got your highest attacking, which would be your attack, yep. with their lowest defense, okay. So it attacks their lowest number. And flexible is uh, cards power against the weakest of the defending cards defenses. Uh, what? I'm gonna call the police. You guys hold them up till we get here. I'll tell you one. The truly mighty ones don't flaunt their power. How can I describe it to you? The sly eagle hides its cause. <laughs> We've got you now. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't run. Okay, I'll just walk. And then he became a wanted man. Yep. <laughs> April on YouTube says we should stream COD. Maybe, maybe sometime. If it, it's, I don't know. It's kind of like how I said that I wouldn't stream Fortnite because I'm not that good at it. I feel as though kind of people would want to see a 
some talent. What I would stream for COD would be zombies, though. I would stream a long zombie, long zombie montage. Zombie. Kefka says I don't like fishing for. Co oh, I don't like fishing for COD. Fishing. I see what you did there. Ah! Ha, ha. Have you ever had COD? I have. I have. I, 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 it took me a second. I feel like that like is that one of the fish good. that your dad says that I would like. I think so. He says he says that I'd like he says that I would like cod yeah. or pike. You would, you he said like, I would like pike. You would like cod, maybe pike. You would probably like haddock. You would probably like. Uh, well, you already like walleye. If the fish doesn't taste like fish, I like it. Yeah. I will probably like it. And I found out that I've been that I might actually like shrimp more than I think I do. If cooked the right way, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. There was some shrimp that we had at a uh, at a hibachi place that was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that was that was the shrimp I had you try. Like, yeah, well, you got to try that. This. That was pretty good. Okay, so we got. And then there was Tom some Barry like. That has two X, two and two, so two mm -hmm. attack. Two attack, two magic defense, and two physical attention. And attack, X is and he's flexible. Attack. It, is X flexible or is X it? is flexible. A is so, assault. Yeah. Oh, A is assault. A is the best. Mm -hmm. uh, zero physical attack, but Kefka says three lemon pepper salmon is amazing. Yes, yeah, so the salmon I think is amazing. Ah, uh, see, I don't like salmon because it tastes too watery. It doesn't to me. I don't know, it, especially if it, cooked in the right. It manner. does to me. I, it, but I just that taste also has right. B on the scale of its magic defense. What which does is that mean? Really high. It goes, it goes uh, zero through nine, and then and A, then a, a, a B, C, D, E, F. Yes. So B is relatively high on the scale. Okay. Uh, but this is not a non-attacking card. This is something you're hoping you will put in a corner where someone's going to attack you and hopefully your defense is high enough. Okay. So that. These are all attacking. Dragonfly. And that has an X. It's also flexible. Right. It's uh, zero mat, zero physical defense, but two magic defense. So that's the card I'm going to use. Now, however, I like it when when they go first mm. because then I can assault them. Okay. And uh, this works out in my favor. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like you. So, what I'm going to try to do, that's not going to work. What about your, what, yeah, oh wait, no, the arrow doesn't point to it. Uh-oh. Um, your, uh, will, will your plant attack the zoo? I think this is going to lose. The plant will attack the zoo, yes. Will it win? It's flexible. So does it, so, it, so it, what it does it go win. after? Yeah, it'll win. how that happened <laughs> but uh, uh this stops that did not work yikes. in my favor <laughs> holy crap uh, yes. i lost the game Ooh, bummer and as such we don't lose this game ever so i i knew i knew that what that that move i made was going to cause it to lose but then that happened you know what i'm thinking of now, so we were talking about shrimp, and recently I tried some shrimp fondue at Ruby Tuesdays fondue. just down the street. Yeah, it, it's tortilla chips, and then they give you this cheese uh -huh. with with sh bits of shrimp in it, and it was really good. Like I was like they like my coworker got it, and he's like I got it because I figured everyone would like it, and I'm like no, I don't like shrimp. And then he's like, oh man, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. And then I you know everyone else is eating it, so I'm just like, hey, I'll give it a shot. And I ate it, and I was like, holy crap, this is great. So now I want some of that shrimp fondue, man. Go get it. Kefka read your mind. He's like, you have the ability to reset. The ability to time travel. Time and travel. no, I cannot just go and get shrimp fondue it's every horrible. Tuesdays right now. Sure you can. I can get let's cheese chip. Get, I can get get cheese chips. 
Oh, my turn? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my card up here because yeah. it's safe. <laughs> what? Oh. I need that card. That's a big card. Now, if you win, is there a chance to get that card? Yes. If you if you actually convert all of your opponent's cards, you get all their cards. Wow. If you if you win the the card game and you anything that you have converted, you have a selection to choose one from that you that you have converted that you can take. I see. I'm hoping to get that one. Hey! Nice. Dude. There's another one. Yep. Holy cow. Guy's got a good deck hiding there. Yeah, he does. What? Why does YouTube look so disgusting? Twitch looks alright. Oh, now it looks better. Okay. Must have just been a buffering problem. I'm gonna put this here, because I need to know which one to attack. Okay. There's two physical against this one defense. Two. Can't you take all of them? No! Oh, no. <laughs> I, knew, I knew. I didn't know it would, it would do that. So where does the health come from? The random numbers and in, uh, in, in its value. It's... Like, say, say, say zero is, like, between uh, zero and five. And then one is like between five and ten, and then and then two is between ten and twenty, and stuff like that. I don't I don't know the actual values, but it's 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 similar to that. Can I get a bite to eat? You have something that belongs. <laughs> to all these skeleton cards. That suck. Yeah, Kepka says that was some BS. Yeah, that was. And to think, I was gonna have you do this, but you would have, you would have, you would have accepted a defeat. I can't do that. Not here. This is this. You need to win. Uh, wait. I'm glad all plans. Listen, dragonfly. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna really hurt. I don't think I can do this. There's a hair in this chip. You've done it. Yes. You're doing it, mate. You can call their blood. Nice. This does it. This does it. Congrats, Stop getting Ram. your stupid thing. <laughs> Jerk, you didn't play his naming way card. Uh, Noise. Boys for life. Boys for life. Congratulations. Uh, hallucination. Salutation. <gasps> Hungry. Hungry. This, this is assumed to where Quinn commits suicide. What? I tried suicide. travel to eat many foods from different cities. But why do you need guild to eat everything? Mm. I cannot eat without gill. Uh, light on water looks like food. It's just illusion. But maybe real. I go jump in. No. I drown if I jump. But I hungry, hungry. <laughs> suicide, eh? I've seen many people commit suicide because of gambling debts. What a shame. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god. It's How could they put that in a kid's game? Yeah, because this isn't a kid's game. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Reminition. And then and then eight's music plays. Oops. 
Is that a bad game you played? I mean, I, mean, I, I guess, guess, but I, I never played, played like, like past, past the first area. area. Because I just, I don't know. Could have gotten those cool cards. I know, could have gotten them, but... The game decided to... Screw me over! At least... At, at least you won. I did win. But you didn't play the Namming Way cards. That's the card I wanted. Mm. The cards that had those ridiculously high numbers. Right. Yeah, yeah. Lindblom, and then the other one took the to this Medane Seri. What happened to permission 500 years ago? Excuse me, I get lost in thought sometimes. Margaret's calling me. But something's wrong. Yep, yep this is, uh, starting to get serious. It's a foreshadowing for a serious matter. Mm. And we're about to see that. Thinking back on it, what's the game that you think you've put the most hours into? Oh boy, that's gonna be that's gonna be hard to find out. Well, I need to tell you about my my mishaps with the original The City game when it came out in uh, 2009, right? So I had a PSP. That question goes to the chat, by the way. What's yeah, the game that you th think thinking back on it as best as you can? What's the game you've put the most amount of hours into? Yes. Now, when I had this PSP, right, the PSP could not save. Its, it's internal uh, memory reader and save function was broken. And it also didn't charge correctly. Some things so never PSP, change. So the PSP, no, I'm, this is serious, I'm being serious. Me too. PSP, it literally had a function in it where it was busted inside and it could not save. Mm. So I played Dissidia, the first one on the PSP, mm. when it came out, and I had no way of saving it. So I kept the PSP on the entire time, and when I went to sleep, the PSP was still on. And I never turned it off. So I kept playing and playing and playing, and eventually, because the way the PSP is, is set, and how it, how it was manufactured, that eventually, if it's on for too long, it will shut off. Regardless of whether you shut it off or not, or if it dies from battery. This, this PSP turned off about four times, and each time I had about 200 hours on that Dissidia game. So I had to replay that about four or five times each time until I got a new PSP. So I think wholeheartedly, Dissidia and Dissidia Duodecim have the most hours I've ever played in any game. Because you've seen how many hours I've got on, on my two profiles on my Duodecim account. Mm -hmm. They're in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. And then combine that with what I all I did for oh boy. Farm Curry asks, have you heard of the egg that got over 40 million likes? Yes, Is that, that how to basic? No. It's it's a it's an it's a it's an Instagram thing. And I, I just saw it in today. Okay. But apparently the famous celebrity Kylie Jenner had the most um, likes in what's it called? Oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, uh, Kefka says Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team and and or Yu-Gi-Oh Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. Oh my god. Both with 706 hours on each. Man. This is it. I've played my fair share of Pokemon games and yeah, you will kill days, yes. weeks without even thinking. 
I know how that is. I got an Oglop card. Happy birthday. I think, for me, it would probably be Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, yeah Left 4 Dead 2 had a lot of hours from us. Then again, so did Castle Crashers, but... Not, so not nearly as not much. Nearly not nearly as much as Left 4 Dead. We just know there were there were we there were weeks like the it was it was our routine. We'd yeah. get up in the morning like around eight o'clock or so, get on the Xbox and play Left 4 Dead. Yeah, we would we would do that, and then we moved it moved from Xbox to PC. Yeah, and, and we we played that. And even the then, like on uh, like on my PC account, I've I've got uh, over two hundred hours on Left 4 yeah. Dead too. So Left 4 Dead is probably a close second for me. Something horrible is happening in Alexandria. That is a lot of hours, Farm Curry. 706. Oof. Sorry. Hmm. Who could this be? <coughs> Peace is but a shadow of death. Desperate to forget its painful past. Though we hope for promising years, after shedding a thousand tears, yesterday's sorrow constantly near. And while the moon still shines blue, by dawn it will turn to scarlet hue. What an auspicious day for Alexandria. Garnett's ascension to the throne has brought hope and peace to the kingdom. The people are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. But the celebration isn't over yet. It's time to really light things up. Your former master is here, Bahamut. Play a requiem for her and all of Alexandria. Bahamut, no! What are you doing? So many people die here. Yeah. So many people die here. Also, weren't you just in a dress? It's been a few hours. I guess. It, it takes a few hours, hours to get in a dress. dress. It could probably, probably a few hours to get out of a dress. I've never been in a dress before. I can't uh, attest to that. I, I can't either. This is also one of the most tragic and ins inspirational parts of the game. If everyone is now coming together to help out Dagger. You will have to look this up, though, because I don't remember what Eric said about the, the Knights of Pluto. I don't want to get that right, because you get a, uh, a, uh, angel earrings. I don't know what those do. They they teach auto life, I believe. Okay. Either that or the rebirth ring does. But it also teaches uh, Amaranth revive. One of the two does. Yeah, this one. You need to know now. Hurry up, blue fools! All right, I'm getting it. Anyone remember this one? I'm getting it. I don't. I don't remember. Eric, if you're watching, let me know. Uh, okay, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Weimer and Hagen are more suited for the protect the townspeople. Okay, one second. Ready to act anytime. Please give your orders. Protect the townspeople. Yes. Weimer and Hagen. Weimer and Hagen. Okay. Yep. Uh, Berricht and Ludo uh, should be the ones for the contact Lindblom. Berricht and Ludo. Uh, Blutzen and Coel are the simple choices for the gather information. Okay. And, the and last then the last one are the fire the cannons. Hey, we cheated, but I don't care. I like getting things. I just never remember this one because they have such weird names. And I get angel earrings. Kafka says, I have one game with an insane amount of hours. What game would that be? Unless unless it's the Pokemon game that you aforementioned. Elijah, what, what is your guys' preferation, Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy Dissidia? 
And then Kefka also says, when I played World of Warcraft, I had 65,983 yes. hours oh of playtime. Oh my play time. god. <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's you a, see that that that's there, that's buddy. something that I forgot though. Like, yeah, we, like we, we did play. A lot yeah, we MMOs. didn't we didn't factor in the MMOs that we played. Yeah, we played PWI. Like for you, you RJ. you played a lot of of Perfect World. Yeah, I also played uh, a lot of City of Heroes back when it was. And I played a lot of Club Penguin when it was <laughs> in its heyday. <laughs> and, I, and I also played uh, when I was living with my with my dad and my mom as a as a kid growing up. My dad had Lord of the Rings Online. He also had City of Heroes and City of Villains back when that was still out. And we had hundreds of hours playing that. Look at that painting. Why, why would you look at that and... and, and Alright, so Elijah previously asked, uh, do you prefer Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy Dissidia? Uh, and with I, the new Dissidia, there's no, there's no question. There's no question, but the new Dissidia definitely ten. Mm -hmm. However, I have to say this with, with, uh, with take this, take this with a grain of salt. But I mean, World of Warcraft has been around for a long time, and it's had so many different changes. Like it makes sense if you were around for a game like for that long. Yeah. For that long, absolutely. I mean, like, yeah, because look at Left 4 Dead. We were around that game for years. And that game, like... Like, you know what to expect with that game. My opinion is that, like, for... Like, I only played Duo Decim and then the newest Dissidia. But I think I liked Duo Decim more than 10 because... There was just more variety for me. Yeah, yeah I, I, I I have to agree with you on that, mostly because. Um, let's do that because. Uh, sorry. I was a horde member, Kafka says. See, I know very little about World of Warcraft, but I do know that one. You you played with the evils. Now, sorry, I keep being distracted. Uh, I have to say that mine is a little biased because ten was my first uh, Final Fantasy I've ever played, but Dissidia and Duodecim really got me into Final Fantasy. So I have to say that after playing Dissidia and then subsequently playing Duo Decim, uh, that became one of my favorite, much more than 10. Mm -hmm. that, does, that is not to say that I don't like 10. I love 10. I absolutely love it. And I will play it till the day I die. The same thing with 9, and I would love to play Crisis Core again. I absolutely love Crisis Core. Um... I, I eventually will will finish seven. I, I I played seven one time when I was younger, and I stopped playing when when uh, a certain event happened at the uh, end of this one that uh, I'm sure everybody knows about. Yeah. And even if they don't know about knows. seven, everybody knows. It's You've had young. your chance. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, spoiler warning: Aerith dies. So. uh... <laughs> Even yeah. if nobody, I know stopped playing because she died. Even I'm if like, nobody oh, there goes my white mage. You can make anyone your white mage. No, she's dead. She's Even if she's nobody dead. knows, what's that? What that's from? Everybody knows that Aerith dies. Everybody, everybody knows, knows that scene. It's, it's infamous. If, if you walk up to someone and be like, "What happened to Aerith?" They'd be like, "She dies." Everybody be like, "Who who killed him?" Sephiroth, obviously. Everybody knows Sephiroth. It's like, so what game is that from? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. That's basically how it is. Kepka was a PKKer, player killer killer. So you're like a bounty hunter. Yeah. You're a fighter for the people. Good man. Uh, we also played a lot of arcade. We did. We we, we spent we oh, spent. Uh, that that's something we can talk about. Um, I mean, it, <laughs> again, it has nothing to do with with final. Is this the one where he goes nuts? Uh, I think it's the next one. The next battle. All right. 
I know it, uh, Arch Age doesn't have anything to do with Final Fantasy, but it seems like like I'm, it, it's easier to think of things to talk about. But there was a there was a uh, an MMO called Arch Age that released uh, I don't remember I don't several know. years ago. Yeah. And it's still out. It's just yeah. Worse. It it came a long way, but it was a slow descent, and it is not what it what it it is not the great game that it used to be. If anybody knows what it is, then you then you you know exactly what we're talking about. But. Um, one of the things that I thought would be a great subject to talk about is talk about like our like experience experiences we've had in gaming that were very impactful for us and that if we could we would go back and live them again because they were so great and yeah. one of them for both of us was getting to play Arch Age when it was in its prime. Yes. And we did play that for hours. It became another game where we were Loyal to, we yeah, would we wake. We, we, we had a we had a routine. We woke up. We wake up and yeah, we, we wake up Arch and we would play Arch Age, and then we would play until nightfall, and then we would go to sleep. Yeah, yeah and we had a bunch of friends that actually joined us in playing it too. Not we as many as I wish as we did. No, but yeah. enough to be like, hey, we got this new game. Why don't you play it with us? And we had a few people actually do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's not this one. Nuts. Okay. Yeah, that game. There was uh, the previous big MMO that I had played was Perfect World, and it seemed like you were kind of like, in my opinion, anyway. It seemed like I was kind of restricted to uh, getting to. Getting to like do uh, you know do activities and customize your character and and uh, there just wasn't a whole lot to do other than group up with people and go kill mobs together and most of the time I wasn't you know a very high enough level that where I could do much I was usually just waiting in the back while you and everyone else all the big boys on our team would go and kill everything else mm. but then. Uh, Arch Age came around, and we decided to try that from watching another YouTuber called Kraken, and we had so much fun playing it because it it was a game that had all these side activities you could do, like you could. He's not supposed to go. Sorry. He looks like Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear Look at that. to the rescue. Look at the design of his armor. Buzz, Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Oh my God, four thousand damage. So uh, there was, like I said, there was all these side activities you could do, like you could, uh, you could create music. He does, he does at this point. You could create music from entering code into into and in, into the games files, which I learned how to do, and it's a lot of fun once you once you once you learn how to do it and you master it. Uh, you could you could learn different languages. You could yep. uh, build ships, build houses, manage land raise animals you could go to court and and be the jury of and and settle the sentence of of team killers and in, in that were running rampant and uh it, it, there was just a lot that you could do and the customization was incredible like it was revolutionary i'm sure there are other games that do the same thing but it was the first one that i had seen and it was amazing and the graphics on it were amazing it was, but yeah. our, our computers that we had at the time didn't do it justice, but no. it still looked really great. And one of the best things I... This is it? This is it? Mm -hmm. One of the best things about... All right, I'll, I'll shut up for this, because this is cool. Beatrix, there's something I must tell you. What is it? Save your valediction, Steiner. We'll live to see another day. Is it this one? Or it's got it. No, I it's got to be. One. I think it's an Have, having a big warm up like that, yeah. This has got to be it. Yep. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just in trance like two things ago. But... That's okay. Steiner will wipe the floor. He's almost dead though. Kepka says he loves Kraken too. Yes, Kraken is uh, perhaps one of our favorite YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bon Curry asks, do you know who Big Chungus is? Yeah, I know what it is. There's a lot of memes out there that des deserve, deserve some rest. He's still... Yeah, you will not... You oh, will he's not still die. going. 
I will not be defeated so easily. You know what? The only other meme needs to die. Is that gnome meme. That needs to yeah, die. Yeah, don't bring it back up. Well, it needs to be buried further into the ground. Okay. So yeah, the the one of my favorite things about Arch Age was that it was it was probably one of the best pirate games I ever played, but it was not a pirate game. Yeah. It did it did, <laughs> it, it did pirate mechanics and living the life of a pirate better than a pirate game did. Like all in all honesty. It did. There was something I think it was something about building your ship from scratch, doing so much to get the materials to build your ship, naming your ship, giving it a custom seal, and then babying that ship because it was now yours because of how much effort you put into making that ship. That's uh, where one of our first, or one of our uh, collab videos happened too. Of, uh, uh, not our first video together, but it was one of our most iconic ones. Is the Arch Age video we, we made together of uh, searching for the Kraken, the Myth Hunters episode. Mm -hmm. And eventually, once the patches came out, I think a year later, uh, then, then we hunted the Leviathan. And both of them are rather humorous, if not lengthy, uh, <laughs> videos. But it it is something that they're not that lengthy. Kraken video is about four minutes long. Leviathan. No, about I know. Eight. Just, yeah, the, but the the, the the Leviathan one had more lore to it in terms of our <laughs> characters. But as 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 big a lore as it can get. Like. Yeah, as bit of lore as you can get for original characters. Yeah, the 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 Kraken video was it was a it was a last minute video where. Uh, Cameron told me about how there was a kraken out in the out in this vast ocean. And, and the, I gotta interrupt you because the kraken was a giant monster in in an MMO. It was something that needed groups of people to take down. It was something you needed in Arch Age several people with ships to take down. <laughs> and here are two here are two, here are two level forties sailing this little itty bitty ship. To this giant mob, this giant super boss, just to see if we can find it. <laughs> yeah, and we kept searching around. We, it, the, the thing is, we searched for a long time, and eventually, this wasn't in, this wasn't recorded. But Marshall was uh, actually being like, "All right, I, I've yeah, seen yeah, we, we, we can just go. We can just go." That entire video that th it it wasn't scripted. It was entirely live. Like the, all the word, all the 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 wording that I did at the beginning. That was completely on the fly, and us going out there and searching, where which you can see in the video, that was all that was all live, and it was uh, it it there was no scripting to it at all. And towards the end of the video, we we didn't find anything, so I was like, okay, there's nothing out here. Uh, maybe we can you know go look for it again some other time. And I stopped the recording, and uh, I, I I stopped the recording and I turned off my mic. And you were we, you were too impatient. And we were on our way back to the shore, and then that's when we found it. And uh, that's why there was no audio from me because I had turned off the mic. Uh, uh, I had turned off Audacity that I was using, and I was and I only had enough time to hit the record button for Fraps to get the game footage. So we almost didn't get it. Right. You, you also panicked and had your character fall <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> So he, your character actually died. My yeah, character yeah, he, had you, died you prior made it away. Because I, I, I <laughs> what happened was, I, I like, like you said earlier, I had, ooh, uh, I had texted you that that morning because I was playing and you were, you hadn't gotten up yet, or I had called you. I called you, and you would answer your phone and go, what, what? I go, dude, you gotta get online, there's a freaking Kraken! He's like, what? He's screaming on I'm the phone, screaming. telling me that there's a Kraken in the ocean, and I have to go see it. And I was super skeptical about it, but... But, but eventually, then, joke's on you, your character died, and that... Because you didn't believe me. Like, believe me, like, no, believe me, I wanted to find it, but I wanted to stay skeptical about it, because it's, it's the yin and the yang of, of hunting legends, I think. Yeah. There's always got to be that one There's, It's no fun if both people believe it. But no, I was, I was so convinced, I'm like, why isn't it here? Why isn't it here? And then they're like, alright, let's head back, and I'm like, okay, we've been at this for quite a while, 
We start turning around, and lo and behold, there it is. <laughs> and it, it, the funniest part about it was, you were you had like your icon, or, or you had clicked on the ship, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it showed the ship's health, and then immediately it showed that it was being targeted by something, <laughs> and it was like, oh, Kraken. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it's here, it's here. So yeah, that was that was a fun fun little time for us. Mm -hmm. And and same goes with the Leviathan video. Yes. The beginning was a lot more staged. Like we had take we had did a few takes of that because that was meant to be staged. Yeah. But us sailing to it and us finding it was was all live and yeah, and it, 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 it wasn't took, scripted. It took not as long as the Kraken search, but. That, that whole, in the video, it shows the path that the, Levi the Leviathan is known to take, essentially. And we just went into one of those one of those currents. We're like, okay, it, eventually it'll show up. Mm -hmm. So we just anchored there. <laughs> and we, and we, we waited and waited. And eventually... It, it, it could not have been... It could not have come at a more perfect time where both of us were on the crow's nest and getting to see it from a distance. Like... It couldn't have come at a better time, it's and we were you did we were take. right in its path. Yeah, you did a double take, and and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> at that point, when I saw that, I was literally getting goosebumps. I was getting shivers because I'm like, it's gonna kill us. We're gonna die. We're gonna lose the ship. Yeah. And it didn't. It just barely killed. Because you were saying, because you were saying, like you had done some research beforehand. You're like, this thing eats ships. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, then let's get ready for this thing to eat our ship. But it didn't, and I thought for sure that it did. And I, when I fell in the water, I thought for sure I was going to die, but I didn't. Yeah, uh, same, same here, because we fell out. We jumped out. <laughs> Alexandria is the summon. The castle is the summon. It is. Alexander. Uh, Elijah says that the game that he's put most hours in is Fortnite. And uh, Kefka also asks, what is the stupidest game over death that you yourself directly caused? Oh See, without thinking, like, without thinking too much, uh, it's probably that Leviathan. <laughs> it's probably that Leviathan experience. No, mine is hmm. as well. And you directly caused yourself to die? I, I stole from a dinosaur in the, in the basic. Oh, that Alexander. Yeah. Okay. That Alexander. Basically, the first one. I'll voice you in a second. Hold on. But it was the first, basically, first level of the game after after the tutorial. You go out, you're on your own now. And I'm like, oh, there's a dinosaur. Oh, it's not going to attack you. So I went and stole from it, and, and I'm like, okay, I stole something cool. And then it goes chomp, and I'm instantly dead. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> so yeah, that was my. Well, I can think of an. I can think of another one, uh, and it's the reason why I don't play Skyrim. It's. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I just I just started the game and I was literally no more than about twenty minutes from the intro where you make your character and you escape the city that's being uh, burned by a dragon, and I come to the first village and my at the time my dad is right next to me and he's watching me play, and there's a chicken that I'm standing next to and he's like kill that chicken. And I'm like, Dad, I'm not going to kill the chicken. And he's like, come on, just, just, just kill it. It's one chicken. So I'm like, okay, just this once, Dad, for you, I will, I will listen to you and kill this chicken. I kill the chicken. The entire village comes after me and stones me to death. And, and you quit Skyrim. And, and I, I got the game over. I respawned, and the village still hated me. And I was like, okay, well, if the village is going to hate me forever, I think, that's, I think I'm done playing. Anyways, I'm going to voice Kuja now. Okay. It's so beautiful. Alexander, the legendary Eidolon. So, you wish to defend the castle with your brilliant wings. How admirable. Your powers even transcend Bahamut's. Alexander, I have been waiting for you. I've called a magic carriage for you. I'm sure you'll like it. Invincible, come forth! You're, You're mine, Alexander. Alexander. Uh huh. A great eye in the sky. As opposed to the great eye in the sky. <laughs> That's the train. 
Alexander is putting, going with its instincts and trying to defend the castle from this thing. Alexander, the legendary holy Eidolon that you never use. You've gone too far, Pooja. I granted you freedom to do as you wish in Gaia for one purpose alone. Now that you have lost sight of your mission, I will no longer tolerate your actions. You have not the slightest idea of whom you are defying. I will show you soon enough. You too, Zidane. How does he know him? How does he know? Uh, Kame, he's Kame. Tra he's oh! charging his Super Saiyan. He's literally about to say that. Oh, uh, going, going back, back to... to uh, uh, What happened to the Invincible? Enslave Alexander as you have enslaved Bahamut! Could it be? Garland? Impossible! Why would he come to Gaia? If it is indeed Garland, he must know my plan. But why has he assumed control of the Invincible? No, he can't be! Uh, back back to uh, the topic that we came, came to uh, yesterday of favorite uh, Final Fantasy tracks. Mine is Pandemonium, which is at the end of this three. It is like tied in with Garland's theme, but also the Pandemonium Castle theme from two. It's it's hard, it's hard to explain. It's not it's not fun to, but it's 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 like an hey, this is an homage to two. Oh, okay. But it's it's its own theme in this game. And it's, it's it's Castle Pandemonium, Pandemonium, Castle Pandemonium's theme, and that I love that, and it's played with an organ, a church organ, instead of a, like anything else that was in this game, and I, and I don't know something about church organs and bagpipes just really get me, no matter what I'm listening to, but violins for me. Violins for you, yeah. But I also like Lindsay Sterling, so I can understand that, and violins really get me. I love violins. Mm. But if, if I, I hear, hear a church organ, or if I hear a bagpipe, then I'm just suddenly hooked to it. Uh, Kuja says, Kuja. Kepka says, Kuja, stop being flamboyant. Only I am allowed to do that. Negative! <laughs> and uh, Elijah says, have either of you had Fago? No, Fago. I think I've had my vaccine for it. I had my vaccines when I was born. So. All of them? I probably. You weren't allowed to have your tetanus when you were that young. Oh. You're supposed to get it when you're 12. Oh. That's a uh, Gold. Is gold, like, a good thing to use as a defense? <laughs> I don't think so. It's very pliable. To do attack. You're done learning the answer. Man, we have a lot to learn. It's a cheap off-brand of soda or Fanta. Oh, I thought it was like a disease from the way he was saying it. No. I haven't I'm, got my vaccine. Never had it. it. I, I try and stay away from, like, store-brand sodas because they're never really that good. Like, there's always, like, something off about them. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah and, and Kefka says, no, you can easily bend gold. It probably wouldn't make for the best of best of armor. Have you now equipped your elite party? This will be my elite party. It's sugar-free. Yeah, Elijah says that that soda is sugar-free, so I can imagine it's not not very good. It's like Diet Mountain Dew. 
Like, I thought to myself, well, if I like Mountain Dew so much, how can this be so bad? It's bad. Also, try wearing gold, says Kefka. You won't move far. <laughs> it is one of the heaviest metals. This is the part of the game where you're, you're really wishing that... Because it provides you so many new equipment and abilities to, to learn mm -hmm. that you just you want to farm, you want to learn those abilities. I see. I know how you don't like farming, but I know if you got to this point in the game, you yourself would want to go out and grind and farm so that you could you could learn all those abilities. No point in all of us going. I'm t I'll take it from here. Luja might destroy this castle at any minute. Get out of here while you can. Go on, Vivi. Don't worry about me. Someday, you'll probably do the same thing for someone who's really important to you. Dagger is more important to me than anything else. Man, you make me sick. I'm out of here. Quite Next sure. time you want to play hero, don't even bother calling. Later. Why did you jerk? But yeah, uh, my favorite party is Zidon, Freya, uh, Amaranth, and either Vivi or Quinn. That is my favorite party in this. Kefka says, I think gold is uh, second in uh, second in weight to, to uh, platinum. I think so too. I know, I know, I think it's more dense, but I think, I think platinum is heavier. And then Elijah says, I like, he's like, it's like ACDC, they are a heavy metal. Ha! Ah. I see what you did there. Whoa. No! Alexander, that's, no! That's gotta hurt. I, I... Screenshot. Do you see it? I saw it. Whoa. Ah. Six year old just zapped by a lake. Why do I feel like I've just seen I've I've seen this scene recently? Like I feel like I saw it just yeah. a couple, I feel like I saw it just a couple days ago. Did you? I know I did. Where? And oh. then we were making jokes about oh, yeah, how we, we didn't did. care about Ico. Why did why did we see this? I don't remember. And then we're like, she's jealous. She's mad because she's jealous. I don't remember. Why? Why did? Why did we? Why? What? Dagger. Why had we seen this? I'm sorry. I don't know why I wasn't honest with you. You made a big mess. What? What? We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Oh, I know why. Because this has a movie viewer, and Eric, oh, right. and yeah, Eric yeah, wanted yeah, yeah. to see the video. Yeah. <coughs> Look at the destruction. How did anyone survive? Yeah. Kepka says, and then they summon me, who proceeds to destroy the new world. Yep, and makes it in your image. To be fair, uh... The end of six, Final Fantasy six, um, <laughs> the heroes don't accomplish anything. Didn't Kefka destroyed the world, right? But he was in the process of creating a new one that he was the god of because he was a god at that point. He became a god. 
and then the party defeats them, and the world's still in ruin. They accomplished nothing. In fact, they made it worse because now the god of the world is now gone. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Like, uh, I don't understand that about, about six. They, they killed God, and then what? I know that there was a game called, uh, called Dungeon Siege, where uh, it was, uh, I think it was Dungeon Siege 2. The, the world sort of gets destroyed in your efforts to save it, and then in the sequel, the world is still destroyed, or, or the, uh, the expansion, I should say, not, not the sequel, the expansion of that game. The, the world is still destroyed, and everybody that you encounter with blames you for it. Right. And I, I like, it's an interesting, it's an interesting take on the game. Because, like, everybody knows that you, you did this. I'll be right back. The Don's out getting himself some refreshments. Uh, speaking of Big Chungus, he says hello. No! Big Chungus on YouTube says hello. Help. I don't know. Don't know, man. Hello, either way. A ghost's armlet. Is that good? A ghost's armlet. Is that good? Sure. Okay. They became the villain and proved his theory. Not nothing. That nothing truly matters. That's. Excuse me. That's kind of like how, uh, that's kind of like how Hotline Miami ended, where after, like, after everything that you've done, like, one of the more, one of the quotes from a villain that you, that you end up killing, uh, one of his last sentences is that nothing really matters in this world, does it? And then at the end of your game, it's, everything that you've done is all for nothing because... And you know, you come to realize that nothing really matters when it's all wiped away. And this is where after this part and then you know what you It it wasn't they didn't create it. Chung Big Chungus is actually here gracing our stream. Big Chungus. Okay. Farm Curry says, Chungus is here. He must have heard my call my Chungus call. See that that's a little silly. <laughs> I find some humor in that. <laughs> so don't How you feeling? <laughs> I might. Now, I wasn't saying use it on. Blank comes running up the stairs and he's like, so don't Man, isn't there anything on his mind besides girls? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. There's a cutscene here. Man, this doesn't look good. Like yeah, whatever it is, I think it's dead. Hey, you're supposed to be on duty. G c c captain I I'm sorry, sir, but we found this weird thing by the shore. Step aside. Mm -hmm. I used to be a sea dog, so I know a thing or two about these things. Mm. It's dead. Go find a doctor right away. <gasps> I'll be damned. They got their butts moving in a hurry. It's about time I started getting some respect around here. <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> As he's talking to it. Oh, I so hungry. Also, Kefka is kind of the great grandfather 
of multi-stage boss fights. What do you say to that? I got lost in this castle. All right, so uh, so the reason why I call Zidane Zidane, or when I get really upset, Zidane, it's because uh, Cameron got really good at playing Zidane in... Uh, Dissidia Duodecim and this newer Dissidia like Zidane has always been his one of his go-to characters so we would we would have uh, we would have like you know some pretty pretty heated sparring matches while playing uh, this dude just moves in my way conehead we would have some really good and heated sparring matches while playing Dissidia together but uh, <laughs> whenever whenever he would he would bring out Zidane and and like he would most likely kick my butt when he was playing as a don and in order to keep myself uh in order to keep myself sane uh i i try and make myself laugh or at best make him laugh make cameron laugh so i would just shout these nonsensical things that more or less didn't make any sense and uh, instead of, in one of my go-tos is instead of calling a character by their true name, I, I messed their name up. So I would call, so instead of calling him Zidane, I would call him Zidin, or I'd just call him the Rat. So whenever he would he would appear, I would be like, it, I'd be like, oh, it's Zidin, the Rat's here, back from the sewers. The funniest part about that is. We were playing on Duodecim, and that's where the rat thing came from. And specifically, <laughs> you had said, so You get back here, you rat! <laughs> and, and I laughed so hard that I stopped playing. <laughs> I had to put my PSP down because I was laughing too hard, and you were just kicking my butt at that point. And all because you said, Get back here, you rat! <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I would, because I would say it with such fire, even though like I, 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 I didn't mean it to sound uh, that way. Spell the second, the second version of Zidane. It's Z I D U N. <laughs> That's how he says Zidane. 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 But yes. Uh, uh, so yeah, and then and then in this most recent fi uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia, uh, whenever when he would play Zidane and he would start kicking my butt and. He would come out of nowhere and hit me in the back, and I would just go, Zidane! <laughs> just out of pure and utter rage. That, that's more so in the nude one. Right, yes. right. That's that's where that that's where Zidane was born. Zidane was all about... Zidane was uh, all about the rat. all about Duodecim <laughs> and the rat. I don't even know where I'm going. I think you gotta go up there, talk to the guard, and then talk to Regent Sid. Okay. But in order to get in there, you have to talk to the guard. Excellent. Because I remember, like, I'm like, I know I have to, I, uh, the first few times I played this, I'm like, why won't it let me in? That's where I have to go. And then you have to talk to the guard in order for it. Oh, yeah, you can go in. It's like, cool. Mm. I would do the same thing. Did you want a drink? The, not yet. And I'd do the same thing, like another big one that I, that I can recall is when he plays his cane and he uses his Gungnir attack where he launches his spear at my character. Uh, anytime it would hit me, like, even if even if I tried really, really hard to avoid it and it seemed like my character just didn't want to avoid it, uh, I would I, I, I would just lose it and go... It's even go, funnier because you I, I would go insane for about a, for a brief few seconds and I, and I would be like, it's like it's a hot dog. He just wants it. So... <laughs> that, that was one of the more funnier ones, and, and it was another one that caused him to lose it. To add on to that, <laughs> eat the hot dog situation, I guess I would use Gungnir a lot. And the funniest part, the funniest moment of that is when you were playing as Cecil, and I was playing as Kate. I threw Gungnir, and you swear you dodged it, but it didn't happen. Something happened where you just went and dodged into it instead. Mm. <laughs> Y y your, your words, words verbatim, verbatim was <laughs> Cecil, it's not a hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> and, 
Again, another moment in the game where I could not stop laughing and I dropped my PSP. <laughs> and in fact, I believe, if I remember correctly, it may not have been that time, but there was a, there was a time I laughed so hard my PSP dropped and shut off. <laughs> and, and stop the match. Um, in your opinion, who would win, uh, Kefka or Sephiroth? Uh, Kefka. Yeah, sure. Kefka. Kefka by far. Um, however, uh, the other the other day, or a few few months ago, I should say, uh, Eric and I, the the guy who was on here on the first part, uh, we, he works with me, and we were talking about because we were bored, we were discussing Final Fantasy character tiers. For example, like, uh, oh, there's low tier where, excuse me, where basically you're worth amount to nothing. And you go up the tiers, up until you get demigod tier, then you get high god tier, then you get absolute god tier and stuff like that. And universal tier and stuff like that. And believe it or not, the, the Sephiroth was only at most demigod tier. Because he literally does, in a sense, become a demigod. Mm -hmm. He all in and Sephiroth's a powerful character. He's a very powerful villain. He's very, very powerful even among Final Fantasy itself. But he is at most demigod tier. The lowest tiers that we had come up from the main characters and main villains, we were going by mostly Dissidia. But the the lowest tier we had come up with were. Ethereum and Bond are, are the lowest tiers, tiers. And, and anyone who else is on Bond team, Ethereum team, is low. Mm. They're, They're all human. They, they all conquer god tier enemies. The Emperor becomes, Emperor Mateus becomes god tier. He, he reaches that point. He not only becomes god tier on the plane uh, of, their, of their world, when he dies, he goes to hell and conquers it. Becoming a god there, they defeat him there, and then he ascends to heaven and conquers heaven. Like, they just don't know where to put it. They don't. <laughs> just like, well, it's like, well, you're an evil man, so we're going to send you to hell. Well, you conquered hell, so we might as well send we you to It's like, well, we got to send you to the other place because we got nowhere else to send you. <laughs> There's no eviler hell, so we got to send you to the other place. Well, you conquered that place. Now, what do we do with you? Oh no! What's up? Yeah, my, it, I was just told my mic apparently has a lot of echo again, but it's probably because I was shouting. Yeah, probably. And, that, and now the mic is like, but uh, one of your one we, of your outsider sources. Yes. Um. That blast almost destroyed our ship. For a second, I thought I was. Oh. <laughs> what am I thinking? What can that old fool do to me? He can't kill me. Nothing can. Besides, he's too late. The wheels are already in motion. Um, we ranked um the highest tier of all the highest tiers were, believe it or not, I won't let him interfere. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. What happened? Terrible injuries you have suffered. Shut, Shut up! up. Mm -hmm. If I can't have Alexander, so be it. I'll find another Eidolon soon enough. Hey, you! Shut up! I didn't ask for your number. Are the preparations complete? It's about time. <laughs> Zidane, your role in my play is far from over. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest now. Get back to work. <laughs> like, those are uh, Zorn and Thorn, you also love to hate them. Yeah. No. What was I saying? Now I gotta kill Kuja. <laughs> Step in line. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, we, we came up with the yeah. Uh, who, who's, the it, who's in the top? Tier, the highest tiers. Believe it or not, the highest tier uh, will we'll go from like lowest to highest, I guess. Yeah. I guess. Um. So we have Xf, who is the lowest of the high tiers. 
because, because he, he controls, controls the void, the void mm -hmm. right? right? He, he gains, gains the power to do so, so but essentially the void is still more powerful than Xtep himself, or Xtep itself. Okay. So Xtep is at the bottom of the tier. It's when I move. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I kind of figured that it's when I move. I'll Give try and double that. check. Anyways, so there's Xtep, then there's uh, Emperor Mateus, mm -hmm. because he's the Emperor and he conquers all. Mm -hmm. he, he is that good. Um, then there's um, the Cloud of Darkness, who is essentially the Void itself mm -hmm. in, pers in personified form. Huh. Way to go. <laughs> he sided with the bootleg copies. <laughs> That's why Kuja needs to die. Huh. I imagine the uh, the echo also happens like when you look in my direction and yeah, you project your voice at my mic. Yeah, that's that's probably why it's doing that. Now, on equal on equal terms, for the second highest, mm -hmm. with one slightly slightly above, is Bart and the Onion Knight. Essentially, because they are both, in a way living embodiments of the crystal itself and the crystal is the thing that controls the universe of final fantasy the multiverse of final fantasy it is all because of the crystal now with that being said bart's is slightly more because he's bart right mm-hmm um, yeah, this is, this is a pretty tragic part. And the one who is on all of it, the one who is at the top of it all, is Zidane. And I know that doesn't sound right because he's just a standard thief. And eventually you find out what his origins are. But, at the end of the game, I'll have to explain why. And tune in towards the end of the game, you guys, because I don't want to spoil too much, and I'll uh, explain it when it happens. Oh, the suspense. Yes. But essentially, it's because... I can't say. Mm. I have my reasoning. There is a method to my madness. I promise. But. I'm just... I don't... I don't know how to traverse this castle. You want me to do it? Yes. She's in the guest room. She's on. I don't know where the guest room is. Down the floor. I'd be lost. <laughs> now, Zidane is the absolute god tier character. Mostly because he surpasses the crystal. But uh, we'll we'll explain that. This is the guest room. If you say so, man. That's where you came out. Of. If you say so. Oh. Oh. Come on, Paul. Why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, let's let's keep asking your questions. Maybe she'll answer. This is a bad joke. Is there anything you can do? Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. You gotta find the potions now. And they're all over the city. Ah. But princess. Right. <laughs> right. Princess. Well, I believe this is only temporary. Like, like I heard an elf in there. Uh -huh. Like a more, a more masculine elfus is what I heard. Uh, but it's uh, maybe months, even if, even years, before she can speak again. Maybe she'll be our friend. Maybe <laughs> she'll be a friend. Um, until then, she... There you go. That's until better. she can overcome her grief. 
So all we can do is wait. I am afraid, so... This is no ordinary illness. This is no ordinary illness. This is... Advanced, advanced illness. We must keep her heart at peace. That is all I can think of. Princess! Please forgive me. Please. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Princess. <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> like, no emotion at all. It's just always that, that voice, no matter what. That's, a, that's the one thing that I... That it's kind of comical when you listen to, like, his eulogy in, in Dissidia. Like, his last... Re like, his final resolve when he's... Yeah. When he's talking to Cosmos before he defends her against the Horde of... Uh, mannequins. Yeah. Because he he's, he's, he does this giant heartfelt speech, but he does it in almost a monot monotone voice. Like, like I, understand I understand he's a famous, famous voice actor, actor but, but come on, put a little emotion into it. Change it up a little bit instead of just, this is what I must do. This is what I must do. The pain that I feel, he cannot overcome. It just, it doesn't change. Cosmos, there is no excuse for what I've done. But please, allow me to defend you this one last time. It's like, come on. A little emotion would help. Th he did finally show emotion when, like, Cosmos was about to be attacked. And he, and he finally he screams, and it's like, oh, oh wait, I no, didn't wait. expect that from you. Actually, that was Squall. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. When Cosmos got attacked by Chaos? Not by Chaos, by the mannequins. Oh. As as the warrior of light is defending her, and then like the and then like Cosmos comes out in front of him to do the giant shield, he goes like Cosmos, like he he screams and it's like, huh? I didn't I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> didn't know you had it in you, buddy. Sometimes I simply listen to Dancing Mad just for the laugh. <laughs> Me too. Because <laughs> I think of horsemen gathering mushrooms. Dancing Mad. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Princess, please, please say something. Say something. <laughs> I imagine it's got some some congestion in there. Mm -hmm. is, is, it, if, if this were if this were animated, he's probably got like snot coming down his nose and tears in his eyes. Like, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> really bawling his eyes out. May maybe maybe. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Look! Look! <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> it's the end times! It's the end times. I'm so sorry about that. You blew out the mic with that? I might have. Blew out something. I blew out. <laughs> Alright, so we have to get three ingredients. Yep. Unusual potion, beautiful potion, and strange potion. They must be mixed in a 5 by 2 by 3 ratio. Have you played games with good potion brewing systems? Cinna has the unusual potion. Yep, I know where the other potions are. Okay, well, why don't you do it? Please, <laughs> do it? please. I can just tell you where they are. I'm, it's fine if I don't play. I'm good. Okay. It's getting hot! Uh, the reconstruction of Lindblom. Or at least their base. Hey, you need a hammer. Alright, I'm gonna go have to go find one. Just let me borrow yours. What? No way! Nobody uses my hammer but me! Ugh. Oh, come on. No! No one touches my <laughs> hammer but me! <laughs> Fine. But I still need something to drive in these nails. Okay, I'll try to find something. This hammer. Just let me borrow yours! <laughs> Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Uh, have you ever played a? Have you ever played any oh, games with like brewing. good potion brewing systems? Um, or like good alchemy in general? Skyrim is pretty good. I, I, I think. What was what was the system in that? You you can test out ingredients in Skyrim. Slap them in. Maybe use his head. Yeah, you can you can literally just mix a bunch of ingredients and hope hope for something. Mm. Or you can like, you could if you find an ingredient you can eat it. 
and it'll it'll you'll learn effects from it based on what what it what it can do, but you'll only learn one effect that way. Mm. And from like experimentation, you'll find out more, and eventually you will actually learn recipes as it will come up in the menus and that, stuff like that. I see. But it's it's a pretty cool system because there's a ton of things you do. I liked the alchemy system in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. How was that game, by the way? It was all right. Like they they built they they advertised it as a as a very realistic simulation of medieval of like medieval lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And in that aspect, I think they did kind of deliver. But uh, the uh, it's a game that I was expecting. I was expecting the combat system to be like chivalry. And it was absolutely not like chivalry. The combat system was a very, very... Like, learning combat was a very, very tedious process. Mm. Which, in all honesty, is more like real life. Like, you don't you don't just pick up a sword and know how to use it. Like, you gotta train to know how to use your sword. Right. And it was true. The, the, the lesson that they told you was the best teacher's experience. And the more I fought, the better I got. So it, I think they honestly did deliver in, in terms of, like, realistic simulation. Mm -hmm. As for other things with, with alchemy and, and potion brewing, I can't, I can't think of anything out of the top of my head. But Do you guys have anything else to say? Please let us know. Uh, Kefka said, asks, how long we got remaining in this stream? Uh, we're going to go for, after it hits 8 o'clock, we're going to go for another hour. And then after this stream is done, it's gonna be another. It's gonna be a week before we come back on, because we're gonna go. We're gonna have to go back to our normally our regularly scheduled program of Wednesdays at 5:30 p.m. Yep. So our streams will be very short, uh, as as long as they're gonna be now. Mm -hmm. But we're still gonna be. We're gonna make them consistent. Yes. It's only because of our differing schedules and. There's only so much time we can take off. And right. We're already taking off next in March for a convention we're going to. So mm -hmm. that's uh, something we, we do every year. So there's only so much we can do. Yeah. Uh, we, we probably won't be streaming uh, while at the convention, but we will be bringing around the camera and recording some things. Yes. And, and taking pictures. Yeah, the, the plan is... Skits. The um, the plan is for for us to put together a uh, like a montage of a video and a montage of pictures and uh, maybe some scripted se uh, sequences at this convention. If you look on my YouTube channel, there's a video called uh, Torcon uh, Prompto and Ignis Torcon Collage, and that's kind of what we want to do this this year again. So we won't mm -hmm. be streaming, but hopefully we'll get a video together for you. We already have one potion. Okay. We're about to get the other one. It it was it was uh, potion brewing during uh, during Kingdom Come that made me realize that like I kind of enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. The it, it it was a lot like baking. Honestly, you you measure out the right. Uh, the right amount of ingredients you get the right ingredients you have to look in the books to understand the symbols and the right ingredients and it all takes time and how long you have to keep like how hot you have to keep the fire and, and if you have to distill it mm -hmm. and it was actually like really fun for me hmm. so it makes me think maybe I'd be better off being like a baker probably you should try it I want to I want to bake a cake like just like I like cooking. Just go bake a I, cake. I, I like cooking, but I don't care much for baking. It's oh. different for me. And I would. And you might. You don't care much there's for this, there's about the, cooking, but you might like baking. There's this burning. There's this burning desire for me to to me to bake something. I think once I once I unleash it, I might just bake all the time. I want to make. I want to make cake. I want to make chocolate chip and M and M cookies. I wanna make brownies. Do it. You won't. Wanna bet? What is that thing? It's. What is that thing? 
It's going to die. What is it? I don't know. There are so many unexplained races in the game, right? I don't know. And like this game has like hippo men and giant birds and and twelve has pigs oh, and lizards. Get. Now I can finally get it. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. That's me. That's you. And I was Virgo, but that was in the Black Mage Village. I think we could pick that up a while ago. Mm. But also, the uh, the uh, the a few years ago, the zodiac uh, calendar changed. Oh right. But I went livid over I that. Know, but then but I realized it doesn't however, affect me. Yeah, it doesn't affect. It does. It doesn't affect you because of where your placement is. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's only that only is affected by um, people who were born on that time when it changed or after. Right. Not it's not constituted for us and people who were born before it implemented. Kefka's a Capricorn, he says. Yeah. Capricorn. And you have the third Pokemon. Well what, what was it? It was it was the symbol of like the hospital, right? Symbol of what? The the newest the newest zodiac. It looks like a snake a serpent on a spear. It's I think so. It's the Ophicus. Ophicus. Yeah. Like, I thought I'd, I'd have to, like, change my lifestyle or something. I was livid over it. And then we realized that it only affects people that were born during or after it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm, ah, I'm in the clear. Capricorn is a fish goat. So says Kefka. Fish goat. The Mad Jester proclaims it. It is here by law. I'm a man horse. I'm a man horse. What? That's what Sagittarius is. is oh, it? you can level up this way. Animal defense. High tide. HP plus 20%. Goatfish? Goatfish? That's funny. Uh. Isn't it like the way we spell goatee should be fish? What? Wasn't that a thing? Like, the way that we use our, like, the way English language works and the way we spell goatee, it should actually translate to fish in our, in our pronunciation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't think it's goatee. I think it's... I could have swore it was goatee. Ghost. No, it's not it's ghost. ghost. It's, it's ghost. not ghost. It? No. It's ghost. It's not ghost. Yeah, it's that, I'm pretty that, sure it's goatee. Like fish. Because ghost I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. O can be I. Uh, and S, T, I think, is, uh, can also be uh, a sh sound. I'm pretty sure it's ghost. Goatfish. I'm. I'm. Don't worry, Kefka. I'm lost too. He brought this up. Now, now, now this is your fish to fry. I'm. Hey. I'm looking this up. I, I just came up with that. I, I feel pretty proud of myself. Oh. Level. It's just the phonetics of things is what we're going over. It's ridiculous. The English language is ridiculous. We're ridiculous. Why are we here? Why are we still here? It's Sacrosynthesis. Mix the three potions in the bottle like you told me to. It is go it it is goatee, but it's some weird spelling of the word goatee. I thought it was ghost. It's G H O T I equals fish. Uh, how do we pronounce the word goatee? The answer is fish. How can goatee and fish sound the same? G H equals F in rough. O equals I in Ribbit. in uh, women. And T I equals sh in nation 
like t the TI nation. That's of course this is a joke. The word goatee is not even a real word, <laughs> but it shows the uh, the inconsistency of English spelling. The region has become a frog. How did that happen? Because the potion we brew, the potion we mixed together did not work. Ah, we almost turned Garnet into a frog. No, we were going to do it to make him. I thought we were. Oh, I th oh, I thought we were doing it to cure her voice. Gather everyone in the conference room. Ribbit. Sir, I make excellent fried fish. I believe you. Now he's a frog. Why does he keep find... saying welcome to the chat room? Why does that keep appearing? That's like, I've gotten that three times. Maybe it's people who have joined and say that say anything? Time. I don't know, man. I... Man, I don't know. Welcome to my hell. Here are five words that end in O U G H. In each word, the O U G H has a different pronunciation. Awesome. Bow rhymes with cow. Cough rhymes with off. Rough rhymes with puff. Th though rhymes with Joe. And through rhymes with two. I'm just reading into this. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why are you doing this? When you leave and join, the message pops up. So is it when people leave and join? That's when it pops up? What are we doing? Is this Quinna? I lost already. This town too big. What all this construction? Gizzle pickles. They're delicious. Delicious? You have delicious food? Fresh gizzle pickles. They're delicious. Yeah, these pickles taste great. What? This is food? You've never seen a pickle before? No, first time. I still need to eat many different foods. Go much learning. My master, tell me so. In that case, you should try one. I think you'll like it. Okay, I eat. <laughs> Yes, this is the time where we can go pick up Quinna. Welcome back, Quinna. I thought you had to go back to the marsh to get her. Nope, she's here. Could you have got her early if you went to the marsh? No. She appears back here. I see. You can go the rest of the game without her, though. Oh. She is the absolute optional character. But how could you? How could you go through the game without her? You, he like, needs like, you as much as we need her. my sister doing watching Christmas movies? It's January. It's July. It's, it's September. It's August. It's back to December, so I guess it's okay for her to watch, watch Christmas movies. Zidane! I'm so happy to see you. This person very scary. I need help. What the hell are you talking about? Do you know him? Well, he's got some nerve. He ate one of my pickles without paying and tried to run off. I'm not surprised. She say I should try one, so I try one. I do nothing wrong. Are you crazy? I'd be out of business if I gave up free food. Okay, take it easy. So how much does he owe you? A hundred gold. Now, if you don't have 100 gold, 
What happens? You can't get her. You have to go back. Oh, you have to pay her bounty? Yeah. I'll follow you forever, please. Please don't. My pickles are the best! Uh, two buddies. Together forever. Together. Together forever. <laughs> Look at that face. So inviting. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm supposed to go either top to dagger, or I'm supposed to just go down to the base level. I don't remember. Mm -mm -mm. Unfortunately, we are getting a bunch of time that we're going to have to close. That's okay, we got to a big, big part of this. I'm gonna double check to see if I have to talk to Garnett first or not. Okay. And I believe I have to go down to the base level. Also, this game really, I mean, it's called Final Fantasy, but this seems like a fantasy game. You know? It's got that vibe to it. Other Final Fantasies, I mean, they kind of do, but not so much. This one really feels like a fantasy, fantasy game. Hmm. That makes sense. That's, to me, it does. Taka? Like, uh, 15 feels like the less fantasy. Yeah. Like, because in that game, nobody really has magic. Like, it's all, it's all through some sort of, they all get it through some sort of outside power. I guess the same can be said about seven. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Huh. So my sister's texting me a bunch of like. She, my sister's texting me uh, about Sesame Street, because my nephew's watching it, mm -hmm. and she's finally realizing, which I never realized. But she's she's just telling me that uh, do you remember the character Snuffleupagus? Did you ever watch Sesame Street? No. Okay. So there. <laughs> I guess this uh, this conversation isn't relevant with you. Please eat it. <laughs> Frog is talking. <laughs> He's lost it. He's like, I. <laughs> We're having this conversation, and he, <laughs> Quinn is just like debating whether or not to eat this thing or not. No, no don't eat it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we're gonna have DV. Chapter three. Oh, character. Th oh. So this is really the first part of the open world area. Because now we have access to the boat. To the boat. 
And it's so much better going at high speed with the boat. Uh, we're going to go to a side area over here where we're supposed to go in the later part of the game. And what we're going to do, because I don't trust it, because I don't want to die yet, we're going to go here to Estogaza. And they have, they sell mithril equipment. And this is the only place to get uh, Amaranth's Mithril Gloves. Mm. Mithril Claws, I should say. Because they do not appear anywhere else in the game. And this is entirely missable. So you just talk to this shopkeeper. It has Mithril everything. Mithril Racket. Don't have one of those either. Mithril Armlet, Gloves, Vest, Armor. It has everything Mithril. Probably just some magic tech. And vaccines. There, so there was this giant, car there was this giant elephant, this very, this very hairy elephant in Sesame Street, mm -hmm. that only, that only seemed to be. Now thinking back on it, he was only in scenes with Big Bird, and the reason why, and there was a lot of scenes where, the, where other Sesame Street characters would just pass him by while he was talking to Big Bird, and the reason why is because Snuffleupagus never existed. He was Big Bird's imaginary friend. And my sister is telling me this, and it's kind of like blowing my mind because I'm like, I didn't realize that. But it's kind of an interesting topic that we can that we might be able to segue into, where a lot of shows that we watched as kids had a lot more darker themes to that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, I miss Golden Sun, says Kefka. Golden Sun. Is that a game? Is that... That's a game, isn't it? Like a Nintendo game? Yeah, Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I feel like if fighting these things, I'm gonna die. Like the first thing that comes to mind for like, no, it's friendly. Hey, I don't know if I have the right <laughs> thing. It's a feather circle. Or please, moonstone. <laughs> I have a moonstone. I thought you were told not to give it. No, it's that's the gimme cat. I luckily why don't you give do the have a moonstone. Why don't you give the moonstone to the gimme cat? Because the gimme cat is a is an enemy. And it gives you nothing in return. Ah. Thank you. Have you met Garuda? Garuda? I know where Garuda is. What'd it give you? AP? Nice. 30 AP, which Noice. is gonna make everyone level up on something. Noise! Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> Got on your first try. Yeah. And it gives you a lapis lazuli. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was right. Think Final Fantasy, but weirder, he says. The, f the first thing that comes to mind when I think of, like, dark in childhood is Courage the Cowardly Dog. But that wasn't, like, that wasn't hiding its dark yeah, intentions. It, really it, it, it was kind of throwing it out, throwing it out in your face a lot of the time. Like, there was no hiding the dark undertones for that. It was dark overtones. <laughs> there was a lot of, like, dark fan theories, though, about, like, about kid shows. About, yeah. like, how Ash was in a coma the whole time. Or same thing with, like, Jake in Adventure Time. Like, he Jake? Who's the kid? Finn. Finn. Finn was in a coma the whole time, or mm. like how all the Rugrats are hallucinations for from Angelica's mind. Yeah, because like I I I, like I like, think these are all fan theories are, though. Fan theories. Like I don't think it was meant to be that insidious. Return the slab, he says. Yeah, the there was no hiding the darkness behind courage, and, courage the cowardly dog's true intentions. Like that was nightmare inducing as a kid. The episode I remember the most, though, was uh, the, uh, the the were mole. I think I think the, I think that's what it was. Were Curse mole? of the were mole. I think it was a mole. It, it was it's basically a werewolf, but it was a mole that dug underground and it bit Muriel, and Muriel became a were a, a oh. were mole, and she started attacking Eustace and 
in the in Courage, and that was the episode with the that's it, I'm getting me mallet, and that's yeah. where that's where that's from. Uh, and then uh, Courage dresses up as a bunny to lure the Weremole, and he's out there and he's out there in in the in the fields just waiting for this thing to come get him. And the music is like really haunting as it's coming to get him, and it's it's a little disturbing, honestly. Now I'm going to let me do that. I want fair chain first. Now the weird barber episode freaked me out. I don't remember that one. I don't remember a weird barber. Freak and comment. Do you? A weird, a, a weird barber encouraged the car. I'm trying to remember. Like you're, you're, I don't, I don't remember the one you just told me about. And I'm trying. There, there's a lot. I know I watched a lot of it, but. There weren't many that I remember. I remember, the, I remember the cat. Yeah, the, yeah, The cat was an evil, and he was in multiple episodes. Mm -hmm. It's like either a cat or a fox or something like that. Yeah, it was a cat. It was Cat's Motel. Mm -hmm. and then there was the crocodile that turned Eustace and Muriel into puppets. And then there was... Then there was like the fortune teller cat that kept appearing. Yeah, I'm talking about the red cat. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I know who you're talking about. He tried to eat everybody. And it was just so wrong. Yeah. A, a lot of people say that one of the scariest episodes was the You're Not Perfect episode, but I don't. Thankfully, I don't think, thankfully, I, think I don't. Scary. Thankfully, I don't remember that one. Like, I don't think I ever. Oh, I don't think uh, I saw that one. Hold on. As a kid. Now, what good way to round up the what good way to round up the uh, hey there's a joke over there Greg. to round up the uh, what's it called the episode then uh, some chocobos chocobo hot and cold all right can I play this time you can if you so choose I do s I would like to play I didn't I didn't get to play last time I missed out on all the mini games last time, except for the atrocity that was jump roping. Yeah. Kefka says you're not perfect was a man episode. Uh, Ooh, that's a big one. Uh, Is that it? <laughs> Is it game over? Someone's about to die. I think all of us are dead. Ever. <laughs> Frey is. Frey is the last one standing. Run, you little mouse. Run. Uh. Uh oh. Everybody needs uh, to run. Uh, <laughs> uh, Get out of here, you rats. Uh, what a way to she go. Escaped. She escaped. How Where do you know? Ridden. How do you... Uh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. It... <laughs> no! <laughs> I, it's when was the I last went, time I, I you saved? I went the wrong shore, and I'm like, wait, no. Did you save at that at that place? Uh oh. But it's okay, I hit continue and it brings me back out to the uh Ah Nesto Gaza. So we didn't really miss much. Wonderful. We did miss the feather circle though, so that means we have to go back to it. What's the worst show you remember watching? Like not recent because the answer is all shows. Okay, how about what's the last good show you remember watching? Are we talking about cartoons? Oh my about... god. That's a, that's scary, oh. dude. The whales on that's disturbing, man. Whales are a little scary to me. Because they're just so big. If we play Subnautica, that's the one thing I'm going to be scared of, is seeing a whale-like creature. Because you just see it in the Why? distance. That part in Finding Nemo where the whale comes up behind them, that was scary when I saw that as a kid. Okay. I'm serious. And the monstro part from Pinocchio? Freaking terrifying. Because it's meant to be a scary whale. That's Larry the Floating Land Whale. 
My mistake. <laughs> okay, last good show you remember saying. Are we talking cartoons or are we talking about any show? Uh, cartoons. Cartoons? Yes. Um, I personally like watching it later on. That's long ago. That is long. It was that long ago. Yeah. See, I can remind, I can remember enjoying Danny Phantom. I like Danny Phantom also. Now we need to find the stupid feather circle again. But I know after that, that was that's when I started to notice like a slow decline in in the quality of cartoons. Like mm -hmm. there wasn't like any real story, there wasn't genuine humor anymore. It was all more corniness, you know. Yeah. There goes Larry. Larry's dead. There we go. This is what we needed. Thank you. How cutesy. I will give you my moon stone. Can you give me a moon stone? It's a good thing I had an extra moon stone. <laughs> Pretty please. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. Look how cute it is. Yeah, the music like really does it justice. Look how cute it is. Like you just want to hug it. <laughs> Take all my moonstones. Yes, all of them. I like how that's called Cypress Pile and not a Cypress Pole. Yeah. It's a p pile. It's a pile of. Dog garbage. What about including live action shows? What was the last one? Last good one you I remember? Really, you, this is something you won't watch, and that's Castle. And I also really liked. Uh, I'll give you the running shoes. And I also liked uh, Justified, mm. which is a show you should also watch. So I'm told. By everyone. By everyone. Sure you don't watch anything. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. I've this before. And then this is that the definition of a hipster? Me saying that I've put on such a facade I that you're, I gotta you're, keep it. You're always the one saying that you're such a hipster. Cause I got no other word to use, so I so I default to hipster. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If I was a hipster, I feel like we'd know it. You know. Besides, like, now that we think about it, like, the whole being a hipster, like, that's, that's kind of, like, not a thing anymore, you know? I mean, sure. Yeah. I guess. I think it was a meme and we didn't know it. Was it? I feel like it was. It was just a more, it was just a more defined meme. Maybe? Because it, it, really it came, it, it came, and then it went. Nobody's like calling you a hipster anymore, or no one's accusing you of being a hipster anymore. Where's the ship? Where's the ship? Are you, is your tail shutting? Stop shutting my tail. I'm not. I'm asking if it is. Just looks like it's got a mouth. No, no that's, that's how it came. Okay. I mean, I mean that's, that's how, how I was born. born. <laughs> yeah, that's how it came. Yeah. Out. That's how it. That's how it yeah. Let's not make the mistake of going to the Grand Dragon Cathedral Island, I think. Well, if you want to go there, just put on I safe think travel. It's you know? this I don't think anyone's going to fault you. Yeah, it's this island. <sighs> I'm sorry. And now we don't need it because we have the ice over here. Is it done? We're going to go catch frogs. And we have to go the long way to get over there. That's by going around here. 
Oof. It, it's such this huge dramatic change when you go from super speed to normal. Yeah. It just that's, looks like the game is going how it is with two Zodiac notches age, slower. That's, that's, that's literally how it is with the Zodiac Age for me. You play it on normal speed, I'm like, it's so slow. And you're like, no, that's not how it's supposed to be. No, it's not. Like, it's slower than the original. Crazy idea. What if we fight that dragon? Crazy idea. Later. <laughs> If, if Kefka fought it, um, I'm pretty sure Kefka would win. But uh, as we are right now, I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough coral rings to absorb its lightning attack. Ah. Uh, oh, legend. Ah. Uh, uh, the legend of the giant really be true? The legend of the dragoon be true? someone who hates turn-based combat. I do. That's all that game is. So I'm going to have to live with it. Well, doesn't it have like that combo system? So it, it adds a little more action yes, into it? it has the addition system, which... There you go. Okay. You wanted to play? Dig. You press square to start. Square to st start? Yep. Okay. Everything is harder here, but... Ooh. Doing good. Dig. Yes. Paid for it. Can I go into that deep water? Yeah. No, you can't. Not yet. It's behind you. Behind okay. You. Okay. It's 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 down. down. Yeah. Arr. Why is it so deep? Can I go over here? Yeah, you can go back there. It's not there. Yeah, yeah you, you, you Time's up already. What the yeah, heck? You have half time because you're only able to go to half the area. Oh, I see. Can't go in the you can't go until deep you get the yet. deep sea chocobo one. But the yeah, next one you get is actually the mountain chocobo. Let's play again. Let's go again. Speak to me. In that case, I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. Okay. You play a few rounds, and then I will come and play a few rounds. Dig choco. Gizzle greens. Come on, come on, come on. I'd say it's a good way to end it off. More Gizzle Greens. Come on, I gotta pay for this. I gotta pay for this Chocobo's college intuition. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Find it, find it, find it, find it. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 50 gil. How much was it? How much is Chocobo hot and cold? He can't hear me. Alright, did I pay, did I pay for it? How much was it? 30. I did pay for it. So, uh. Made out with 20 gil. Alright. Let's go for it again. Ooh. Good start. Good start. Come on. What do we got here? Ooh, soft. Sweet. Oh, it's. Ooh. Yes. Alright, we're gonna check down that little slot. There. Antidote. Yes. Gimme gill. Gimme gill. Gizzle greens. That's not what we wanted. Yes! Come on! Go, 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 go! Yes! <laughs> Last second prize. Oh, I think we doubled our... We got more time. Go out of business. Give you a special bonus. If you'll just quit now. Time's up. Soft. Two, antidote two, gizzle greens two, gizzle greens two. Uh, limit bonus, 56 points. Choco's beak became stronger. Level 22 beak. All right, beak level plus one. Wonderful. I must have emptied him out. Okay, let's play again. I forgot how fun this was. Closer. Over here, maybe? Here. No. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There. Alright, let's go, 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 go. We lost a lot of time there. We have to pick up the pace. I'm not gonna do too well on this one. Oh, that's a deep one. Remedy. 
Oh, I was hoping it was a it was a chocograph. All right, we did not do good that one. All right, so one more try. Giddy up, yeah. More gizzle creams. Wonderful. I did pretty good. I emptied this dude out in one in one of the rounds. Yeah, well you did four of them? Yeah. Nice. Have you tried uh, doing uh, high speed mode yet? Uh, no, I don't think I'd be able to do it. That's how I play. Alright. Yeah, and I, I don't know how you do it. Because <laughs> I'm used to it. As used as a person can get to crack. Yeah. Jeez. I'm playing on crack. See, I I did just as well <laughs> at normal speed. I emptied the dude out. I didn't need no hacks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're gonna rob me dry. Please stop. Oh, 500 gil though. That's how you win with portals. Yeah, that's portals right there. <laughs> that's how. That's how. You, that's how. You, now you're thinking with portals. Uh huh. Well, choke grab. You weren't yes. too. To be to be fair, um, that Kool Aid is pretty similar to crack. <laughs> Not that I would know. But, uh, yeah. Because I don't. But. Like one, man, I like I think that compared, you know about it. I, I don't. I've never done drugs in my life. Shaggy knows all about it, man. Far out. Like Shaggy does, but I don't. <laughs> well, we weren't as popular on Twitch tonight, but I think we made up for it yesterday. Yeah, we made up for it yesterday. Why had, some, had some great, had some great discussions and uh, chat interaction on Twitch yesterday. Yeah. Where are you? Congrats. Clean them out. Congrats, g man. Hey. Uh, for many years, only Big Bird could see Snuffy, leading others to believe Snuffy was simply an imaginary friend. But in the 17th season, 1985, Big Bird showed Snuffy to his friends on Sesame Street so they would believe him. Before that, the main adult characters teased Big Bird when he said he had seen him. Because they did not believe there was such an animal, often despite evidence to the contrary. Such an oversized teddy bear that Snuffy had left behind, or segments in which Snuffy interacted with other characters, such as a street scene where Snuffy uh, was seen playing London, London Bridge with some of the neighborhood kids. Uh, this was meant to echo the imaginary friends some young children had. Hmm. So was he or was he not? He was. Your chocobo could blend in. Let's get another. With the water. Oh. Oh. I found a tent. Very. Very nice. That's a soggy tent right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's being this way. <laughs> I thought that was the end. <laughs> I did too. This will be a good way to... Oh! 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 You're killing me. You're killing me. Is this fun to watch? <laughs> Uh, well, 
I, uh, you know. I mean, the music's pleasant. I will find all the chocographs here. I didn't find any. I found one so far in the chocograph piece. <laughs> what am I going to watch tomorrow at work? Ooh, lots of seconds. 12, 12, 2, plus 120. Holy crap. Oh, man. Uh, I've got a bunch of playlists that I've saved up, or that I've put together over the, over the years. Work is that boring. Work is that boring where I have to lit, where I have to li listen to these things. And I've listened to these playlists so many times because of how many times I've, you know, I've, I've needed them. But like, I've got, I've got, the most recent one is my Gmod playlist. I just have a bunch of old Gmod videos on there. There's my playlist with a bunch of creepypastas on it. There's my playlist with nothing but critical on it. There's my playlist with nothing but Nova on it. There's my playlist with all my favorite cow chop videos. And there's my playlist with all of my favorite uh, Alex's videos, Kraken videos, all the rage quits I like, uh, all the game theories I like, and all the Minnesota Burns episodes that I like. I'm feeling game theory tomorrow. We'll start the download now. Plot twist. That's the only one there. Uh, no, it's not. But I do believe we have the one to already. To already do you doubt? Listen, we're gonna go out. <laughs> we're gonna go out. We're gonna go find these treasures. Because there's a bunch we can get right now. Okay. Do you see this girl who, I'm sure you saw you saw the girl that was playing The Last of Us and she squeaked like a car alarm? Yes. I saw that. I kind of felt for her, honestly. Like, like people are, are, you know, they're having a, having a joke about it and they're kind of teasing her about it, but I, I, I kind of, I kind of feel for her. She she's already crying because of that of the emotional scene that had just played, and then a, an adorable rabbit gets shot. Like I I can understand it. <laughs> it's I get it. <laughs> All right, I gotta remember. Do you have safe travel on there, or can you risk it? No, I'm not gonna risk it. I believe it's over there. I remember correctly. Because uh, the chocobo tracks are over here. No. We're gonna go hunt for some treasures. Leadership card. We could have used that, <laughs> but no. Uh, we can always go back and play it. Excuse me. Yep, we need the abandoned beach.
Chocobo follows me everywhere across the freaking world. What a loyal Chocobo. Almost as loyal as Boko. Boko's pretty damn loyal. Um, okay, three good talents. Hey, there's a crack there. Is he? Oh no, that's where. Oh. Makuja's real power is kicking in. Oh! What is that? The tray is shaking. Ooh. Why? Oh, it's over there. I think. Why did it do that? I don't know. What? Oh. What is that? I have no idea, man. I've never played this one. Okay. I'll just I'm on the wrong. I'll just go ahead and believe you. Yeah, I'm on the wrong. Alright. Hmm. I love playing this rewarding arena game. <laughs> I really do. Whoa. Oh, that's a bad spot. When we get dead pepper. Diamond gloves? That's amazing. Now well, we need to find more choco grass. Why? Because we have not found the right... Uh, Big spooky shake. That's what I'm saying. And he's not telling me what it was. Because the spoils... Uh, this Okay, um, it's all in your mind. What's in my mind? Where is my mind? What are we talking about? If you believe hard enough, I bet you could just... You could just launch. With the right amount of drugs, I'm sure anybody could. I mean, <laughs> we can stay sober here. I mean, I've been sober all my life. Uh, he says I think it's an optional super boss. No, no it is not. It is per pertinent to the story, and uh, it. Uh, let's uh, uh, find little choco grass. You have the right piece. No. Excuse me. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's a double whammy. Place your bets. It wasn't here. Elijah asks PS4 or PS4, PS4 Pro. What is your preference? It would go to the PS4 Pro, right? It would usually, but we have neither of we, neither of us have that. What is the difference? It's the PS4 the Pro PS4 has like 4K in this, and it has and it has more hard drive. Yeah. Does it also have like a solid state? I think so. So yeah, loads faster, 4K, and more memory. So the PS4 Pro is the upgraded version yeah, of, it, of it what also, we've it got. Also, there are certain games that are have better quality as a PS4 Pro. For example, Final Fantasy 15 is one of those. See, I would love a PS4 Pro because I've still got one of the first models of the PS4. Mine's a dinosaur. Mine's closer to blood. And I think I saw like a teaser model of the, of the PlayStation 5. Yeah. And it's like, come on, man. A while ago. I'm not ready for it yet. Chocograph. Hate that. Kefka says that he's heading off. All right. Yeah, we're going to be heading off pretty soon, yeah. too. We we're appreciate just... you coming on to the stream. Um, and thank you for your participation and watching. Yeah, really. We, we, really, we really do appreciate it. We, we want to get more 
more part more participation in the chat. That's what we really want is to talk more with the community. But uh, but hopefully hopefully you'll be back for yeah, our next you, stream. You if said not, you're gonna be a regular and you see. <laughs> Stay true to it yeah. so, so far. So. so if you come back, great. If not, don't worry about it. We'll be back on next Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you have a good night, Kefka. Yeah. Thanks. And again, again I was looking at the screen as I was talking to you. So have a good night, Kefka. We love you. You adorable clown. As, as much as someone can love an, an evil mad clown. One of these days we'll play Dancing Mad. In, in honor of, of Kefka. Uh, oh boy. I think, I think now is actually a fairly, fairly it, good time. Yeah, this would be the time to call it. Early. Yeah. All right. As long as YouTube tells me I'll be here. Yeah, as long as it functions the way that it's supposed to. Yeah. Which, so far, it's been doing that for me. It's been telling me exactly when we're starting. Yep. So, that should be good. So uh, this would also ring be a the really bell good time. and hope for the best. This will be a good time. This will be a good time to, to call it. To call it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do something different next Wednesday. Hmm. We we give nine a break and we save it for the following Wednesday. It'll. Yeah. We should probably give nine a break and we'll do something different for mm -hmm. next Wednesday, and then. Every so often we will go back to nine and yeah. until it's finished. Well, it'll give you a break from the costume. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna get a week break, but right. it'll give you a, a week from the costume. I've I want to do something. I want to do a cooperative game next Wednesday because we haven't done that in a while. Mm -hmm. Well, we did Slender, but then we did Your Wolf Among Us, and then we're doing nine for a long time. So I think we we should do something. We'll plan for something cooperative. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll just give us a rest from nine, but we'll be right. We'll we'll come back to it until, and we'll keep coming back to it until we've finished it. Right. So. Well, yeah. With that being said, this will be our last Final Fantasy Nine stream for this week. Oh, this week and next, and next week, week, most likely. Yeah. For a while. And we will keep you guys updated uh, as it comes. Mm -hmm. And as such. Next Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. we will be starting up another stream, so we hope to see you guys there, and mm -hmm. thank you for your support, and for your thank watching you very in much. Time. Love you guys, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Zidane's out! Alligator. Alligator. In a there. while, crocodile. Whoa.